first sub of the day.
gamers. Hello, how are y'all doing today? It is currently the, what is it? It's basically Valentine's Day, guys. It's the 14th of March. That's beautiful, man. Welcome back, everybody. Hope you're doing all right. Happy morning, happy afternoon. Maybe night, depends on where you're located, I guess. It is basically, yeah, it is basically uh, Valentine's Day. We've had one Valentine's, yes. What about second Valentine's? You have 17 hours in the climbing game after your last stream? What? You, what? Watopia? I started playing that at the end of Tuesday's stream. You've played that game for 17 hours since? Hey, buddy. Toby wants to say hi. Hey, man. Milo's here, too. What a party. We don't need sleep. We need rage. I want to play a little bit of the um, the climbing game again as well later today. <sighs> we have two cats in one stream. I know, dude. We've already peaked. Bunny. Yeah, I get it, Bunny. I get it. Immediately. Gifting five community subs. I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much. Thank you also, Babine, with the 45 month resub just a little bit ago. I appreciate that. That was a uh, sub before the stream even began. Very nice. Are you gonna. Okay. Convenient. Um, cats are a little bit confused today, guys. Because I woke up at 3 in the morning, 3 30 to be exact. Because I needed to drop Loran off at the airport. It doesn't seem to happen all too often, but she had a flight today. And it got pushed forward. Like, normally flights get delayed, but this one was pushed forward. For a while. Um, so, I had to leave home, because I was going to drop her off, at 3.30. <clears throat> Maybe the taxi would have been worth it. Maybe, man. But anyways... I decided to drive her. <sighs> Hope she had a smoother ride than me. She already made it, Echo. She, she's already there, man. She's been there for hours. Yeah. Just 30 minutes after you wake up. Damn, you woke up at 3 in the morning again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, normally I don't wake up that early, so uh, if I seem a little tired today, I did try to take a nap afterwards. But, you know, my beauty sleep was rudely interrupted. In the middle of the night. I had to drive for like, I don't know, an hour and a half or so. Because there was nobody on the road. And, uh, because nobody's up. Did you guys know that? Like, basically nobody's awake at 3.30. Although, as soon as we got to the airport, it was surprisingly busy. I think we must have been there at like 4.30 or something. It was surprisingly busy. Low lurk sleeping is a waste of Ozzyxp. Oh, sleeping is a waste of Ozzyxp. Old school RuneScape, EXP. There you go. Well, I mean, it was kind of a drive in the middle of the night, Zaj. I'm not very good at, uh, you know, driving that much in the middle of the night. But it was okay. It was alright. Hey, thank you very much, Hater Dan. Appreciate ya. You woke up at 3.30 as well for no reason at all. Ay, ay, ay. You woke up at 4 a.m. two days ago. You passed out once you got home. Right. So I'm gonna be live for a little bit. How's Toby doing? <laughs> I don't know, dude. I think he is trying to show Milo here that Milo is still the alpha cat. You gotta establish this from time to time. Yeah, you gotta make sure that Toby knows he's... ...the beta. Yeah. <laughs> They're very cute together, though. Milo is not impressed. <coughs> Oh, all right. All right, then. Anyways. That's the content you're here for? Fantastic. <sighs> Man, I am a little bit sleepy today, though. So uh, we'll see how this ends up going. Uh, I want to start off with a little bit of Timberborn, and then later today I want to play some more of that climbing game, which is an absolute rage inducer of a game. Is there a cat fight? Ooh, there might be a cat fight coming up. Even though Toby did, sh did just show us that he is still, you know, the beta. He is gonna take up position above Milo. That is not something that is appreciated <laughs> in the cat kingdom. 
Yeah, the person that is the most mighty one has to be in the higher position. Everybody knows that. You've got $20 on Milo? Really? I see these guys fight all the time. Fight? Um, generally speaking, it's this guy that wins. Yeah, even though he's smaller, even though he's lighter, we still... Yeah, Toby wins because Milo fights fair. That's very true. Like, I play fight with them as well from time to time. And Milo is like, you know, claws not, not, not extended and stuff. And Toby does the same thing. But as soon as he holds you, he does a little bit of like... Like a little bit of a, you know, claw extension. Just to know you, you know, to let you know they're there. And I would imagine he does the same thing as well to Milo. So, Toby fights dirty. Milo, uh... Yeah, has, uh... Honor, apparently. Even though he's smaller, even though he's lighter, he's also a lover. Something like that. Yeah, something like that. Something about plumbers. I did see they announced a new, uh, new DLC for RimWorld, yeah. I may... Excuse me. I may go ahead and check that out. I obviously still have a lot of RimWorld content to explore, though, as it is, so... We'll see how this goes. Exclamation point Toby. Wait, there is no exclamation point Toby? Toby being Toby? Aw. This is very cute. He's a very cute cat. Oh, the update is now already available in beta? Cool. Yeah, I may go ahead and check that out at some point. I don't think that's a bad idea. Toby looks pissed in that photo. Toby does look pissed sometimes. It's okay. They're, uh, they're both pretty friendly. They just don't really like it when things change a little bit, you know? Like, getting up in the morning earlier than per usual? That throws my entire day off. Can't believe it, man. Got so many games to play, guys. We'll start off with a little bit of Timberborn, and then we'll see how it goes. Dude, also, today's YouTube video, I don't want to, like, hype myself, you know, my own content, that is, too much. But, picture this. 50-minute game. Serral versus Terran. Serral versus Clem, to be precise. Entire map, completely mined out. This is a ladder match that these two recently played. And it's ridiculous. It's insane. I, uh... Yeah, one of the best games I've seen for sure. No, I'm not gonna title it Game of the Year. Because at this point we're gonna have different tiers to Game of the Year, but my god. Such a banger of a game, dude. That video is gonna go live today. What's this? Dear Federal Agents, all my posts are serious and I'm a threat to society. Oof. Yikes. That does not surprise me at all, uh, Mr. Uh... Happy four Echo years soldier. ago. Yo! I think it's time for the cheer. Ready? Yeah. You. RR. You. RR. WWW. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much for the four years resub. Beautiful. Thank you for playing the audience there. Ballistical. Low high, low high. Thank you very much, Egiro, as well, for the 47 months. Yeah, it's four years. That means it's my birthday. That's how that works. Again, it's been my birthday pretty much every day of the week. Yeah, isn't that incredible? I wish I could feel that TVP status you guys are talking about. Oh, this is a guy analyzing his own win rates and he loses about two out of three games against Protoss. So you're saying that the average ladder win rate for every person is not the same as the ladder win rate, or I guess the, the tournament win rate at the pro level? What? But I'm a professional gamer. Huh? Look, I thought I was watching a Timberborn stream, not cats. Yo, Bob. Bob hates cats, confirmed. Does everyone still hate Winter Starcraft? 
Yeah, yeah. We all fucking hate that guy. Fuck that guy, dude. Can't believe it. TY retiring from StarCraft 2 after the GSL? Really? Is he? He originally planned to retire after the army, but he got a contract from the freaks. So he did more, but his skill and passion for the game both fell. <clears throat> okay. He was like, yeah, I wanted to quit already, but money. Did you miss drama? Absolutely, dude. The winter post, wait, wait, the winter post was like this post about you, Loco. Wait, there was a post about me? Loco, the most overrated caster? <laughs> he deleted his post? What the hell is this? Was it you, Gabe? Was it you? People on the SC2 Reddit have all sorts of strong opinions. But they forget the most important things, to follow Loco von Socials and sub on Twitch. Thank you very much, Imbalocust. Tell me why? Why make such a meticulous post about not liking someone? I mean, when I'm lactose intolerant, I just don't drink milk. Judging from the emotes and the lame jokes, you really thought he was funny? Oh man, I wish I could have written or I could have read the post. What a shame. I could get more analysis from a Zerkling trying to understand quantum physics? Okay, he doesn't like my game analysis. Absolute cringe post. Yo, look at this, the community having my back. I didn't see this post when it was there, but I'm... Aw, that's kind of cute. I don't think a lot of people saw this post, but... Alright, somebody doesn't like me. That's okay, man. You don't have to like me, guys. That's totally fine. <laughs> that's why we have a beautiful community with loads of other people you can watch instead. <sighs> Both Winter and Loco catching heat. I don't think I really caught any heat, dude. It was just one guy. He probably got downvoted a bunch and then he felt shamed and he deleted his post. Yeah. Having haters is a sign of fame. I don't really actually experience a lot of haters in general, man. Like, maybe it's, I don't know. Like, I. There's not really that much hate going on in the StarCraft community in general, right? I mean, I feel like it's not nearly as toxic as some other gaming communities out there, but maybe that's also partially due to the fact that, like, the StarCraft community is relatively small and relatively old. Yeah, uh, there's some people that people dislike. Yeah, like Husky kind of has a bad reputation. There's a bunch of people that have a bad reputation. I don't know if the League of Legends community is still as toxic as it was, like, a, a decade ago, though. Maybe it is, I don't know. Did you just call me old loco? Yes. Oh, what? You can... Really? So we can find out what it said? I've been on this crazy SC2 roller coaster or coaster called Loco's Commentary, and let me tell you, it's been a wild ride. I can't wrap my head around why he's popular. First off, his comments are about as insightful as his cheese strategy against the seasoned player. I mean, come on, Loco, give us something more for pro profound than that was a nice move. Let us talk about entertainment value. I've been seeing more exciting games of Minesweeper than some of his casts. This guy didn't even really try, man. I feel like the emojis are very ChatGPT-ish. Yeah. Happy StarCrafting, my fellow puzzled players. <laughs> Interesting. Alright. Happy StarCrafting, my fellow puzzled players. What a guy. Yeah, it is definitely something that happens on the, uh, the internet, right? Um, there's always people that feel the need to point out negativity. I feel like it's a little less so, or maybe it just doesn't affect me anymore. Like, when I first started, I noticed I was quite bitter about these sort of things, but these days I'm like... <laughs> I honestly don't really care. I mean, if there's one thing I've learned from making content for a long time, is you never can please any, like, everyone. It's just not possible, man. Um, like, changing your content based off of one random Redditor... is dumb. 
Yeah, I should not do that. No. What did you just link, dude? An Invicta watch that has a watch on the watch? This thing has two watches? In one watch? Yeah, that's really ugly. I'm sorry, man. I just... <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I can't, man. I, I, I can't. Why does it have a two-tone bezel? But it's not a GM... Anyways. <sighs> you can watch the watch? I guess that's true. Yeah. What is this? This is dangerous, dude. I can't click that. Looks like only Rainer will be attending GSL Season 2. Yeah, he tweeted about it. Hello everyone, quick update on Korea travel. The GSL qualifier dates have been moved, and they are at the same time as the regionals for Dallas. After some thinking, I've decided to go to Korea anyway, since I really want to compete, so I'll be playing the regionals there. I still have to arrange everything since I'll be going solo, so it's going to be quite an adventure, but I'm really excited. Pretty cool, dude. Mm -mm -mm. Is it just me or is Twitch in 720p again? Dude, is it doing it again? This has been a new thing on Twitch lately where they actively... No, I just loaded my own stream and it does load in 1080p. You may just have to refresh until 1080p shows up. This is such a stupid thing though that Twitch does. I genuinely really dislike this so much. Happy Pi Day. Thank you very much, Soto. It is indeed the 14th of the 3rd. Appreciate you. Yeah, so Twitch, I think what they're trying to do is they're just trying to save bandwidth. So essentially what they do is they make it look like streams are not at the highest quality anymore. And they just don't show the 1080p option. And sometimes if you refresh a bunch of times, it will just randomly appear. Just know that I have not stopped streaming at the previous quality I've always looked at. Or I've always streamed at. You need to refresh like 5 to 10 times. Ooh, that's kind of hype, Bunny Warren. Alright. Let's play some, uh, some Timberborn. I'm gonna close my door as well. It looks like Milo has left. I think we're safe. Ready. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What did I click? I clicked something. Bum, ba, da, dum, bum, 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 bum. What's up, Richard? Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Hello? Hey, there we go. So. I've been trying to essentially automate everything in this particular playthrough of Timberborn. I'm thinking about just getting rid of every single one of my beavers and just automating all of the things. The goal of ultimate beaver happiness is to have no beavers. Yeah, why worry about beaver happiness when you have no beavers? So what I'm gonna go ahead and do, since I'm already at 39 bots at the moment, no, I'm at 39 bots and 47 beavers. Okay, I actually for some reason thought I already had more beavers or beaver bots than I had actual beavers. Anyways, I'm gonna stop producing new beavers. Yeah, we'll let the old generation die out. And we will rip, wait, I do have 69. Ah, yeah, yeah, I have 69 bots right now. Nice. Um, a lot of them, I think, are in the second district. Yeah. So we're actually currently taking the last little bit of scrap from that particular pile. 
And that's spawn. Yeah, bring brought on over. Um, I currently have two of these bolt assemblers. So there's one over here on top of this tower, and then one over here on top of this one. They are basically just gathering stuff. Yeah, they're just making new robots, which is awesome. Yeah, Twitch Twitch is sometimes making it so that you can't watch the stream in 1080p. It's super annoying. It's really stupid. I don't know what they're thinking. But it it seems a bit short-sighted, you know? Like it feels to me like they're actively trying to make the service worse, which never really works out well for a company. But then again, I think they're really desperate to try and turn a profit at some point. It seems like they are pushed pretty hard to try and turn a profit at some point and uh right now they are not. So I guess uh, maybe they uh, they got some sort of ultimatums or something. I don't know, dude. Really pinching pennies here. It's 720p again. It's funny too because I am dual streaming to YouTube. And the YouTube streams already always looked a little bit cleaner in the first place. Plus, you know, YouTube has this thing where you can actually do a live rewind if you want to. So you can actually just go back and pause and stuff. Twitch really is starting to fall behind in some very basic streaming mechanics. Which is a bit of a shame, but... But yeah, obviously the YouTube streaming operates at a loss. Yeah. Such a small thing. On, uh, I guess, YouTube's uh, platform, but... But it's kind of wild, isn't it? Usually it takes about 10 minutes to have the 1080p option available. So I just loaded up my own YouTube, or sorry, my own Twitch stream, and it was there. It was there in 1080p. What's going on, Vesper? Thank you very much. Um, so I stream on my second channel. I stream on the more loco YouTube channel. Like in the past you couldn't do that, but they've changed the rules about it a little bit, so nowadays you can. What's funny is that like Twitch has a bunch of limitations if you want to do a multi-stream. And one of the rules is that your Twitch stream cannot look worse than your YouTube stream. Now, what's really funny to me is that now Twitch is actively making their own platform look worse by, for example, limiting the quality settings. Which is kind of ironic, really. Like, I can't make my... <sighs> yeah, like, I'm streaming the exact same quality on YouTube and on Twitch. And for some reason, the Twitch streams don't look quite as good. Like, what do you want me to do, man? I didn't do this. Like, I would love to, for example, stream at a stronger, or like a higher bitrate, right? Which would make the, the streams look better, and ultimately the VODs and stuff would also look cleaner. But I can't, because that's still limited by Twitch. It's still limited at 8,000, I think is what it is. 8,000 bitrate, which is not really even enough for a proper 1080p 60 stream. Ultimately, you really want to have like closer to like 12k, maybe 16k for a 1080p 60. Yeah, the quality and uh, just the, the general stuff that Twitch deals with is just... Yeah, it's just frustrating. Good morning, everyone. It's good Entaro on Praetor. Aiden. Thank you for the 86 months. Dude, appreciate you. <laughs> Talking crap on Twitch? No, it's just a shame, man. But they have made some good changes as well, though, over the last year or so. I complained a lot about Twitch's decisions a few years back. I don't think a lot of them were valid. I still don't think all of their decisions are great, but... At least uh, they've been making less dumb decisions as of late, you know? Which is already an improvement. No, it's just the UK, Bunny. It's uh, UK, Canada, and um, 
Australia, where the subs are slightly more expensive. But not tier 2 and tier 3 somehow. Well, the dumbest decision over the last few years that I've seen Twitch make, that they reversed pretty quickly, is the cap that the biggest streamers on this platform could make before they got less revenue cut. Like, that was still one of the weirdest changes. Like, it wasn't relevant for me. I never got to that limit in the first place. But that entire... That entire thought process was so silly. Like, I don't know what they, what they thought was ever going to happen there. Yeah. I actually didn't mind the, the... No, I actually didn't mind the adult changes or the mature content changes that they did some time ago. They did have to go back on those because obviously Twitch streamers immediately... Uh, dude, remember that one... That one day, it sounds like a story from myth and legend. But one day... In the not too far past, the entire art section on Twitch was just... It was, it was interesting. Yeah, Twitch streamers immediately pushed through the limits though. Immediately. Yeah, that was in December. For one day. The art section was allowed to create full and complete art. Which, you know what, I still kind of agree with. I still think you should be able to do that, because art is art. But, for obvious reasons, the internet immediately pushed it very far. <sighs> they had to see that coming, yeah. My favorite Twitch title that I saw that day, which I still think is really brilliant, was plus one sub. That was in the title of the stream. Plus one sub equals plus one inch. <laughs> like that basically described that entire day. Yeah, Twitch streamers very quickly got to the limit. I think it was pretty clever, but yeah. You know, I think Twitch had imagined this, like, for example, like, the Romans and the Greek and stuff, sculpting these perfect muscular bodies, and yeah, they happen to be nude, what, whatever, right? Like, that was kind of part of the story. Um... Wait! Bots can die! There was a dead notification just now of a robot dying. Ah, oh, jeez, I didn't know that was possible. <sighs> it was pretty funny though, not gonna lie. I'm trying to think what I should actually make right now in the game, guys. So I was trying to go up to 12,000 sciency, sciency points. So I can make my ultimate monument. The tribute to ingenuity. I've already run the power line here. Um, how much electricity do I currently have? Oh, wow. I supply way more than I currently use. It's not even close. Good job, local from the past. I think I'm gonna store some more lumber over here. I think that'll be enough, though. I don't really need that much lumber here. It's just nice to not have them running around for it. I wish that was like a 3x3 three three roof. I guess we can do a 2x3 roof and then put some decorations here on the outside. There we go. That works. Yo, have a good one, Richard. Take care. I do recommend this game, 100%. Yeah, I think this game is very fun. If you've played it a bunch, you kind of run out of things to do at some point. It doesn't have, like, endless replayability in my mind, at least. But there's a lot of, like, you can get hundreds of hours of content. And this game is, like, 20 bucks. Plus, it's made by a small indie studio who does this magical thing where they try to finish the game before they release it. It's really crazy, dude. Not commonly seen anymore in the current video gaming meta. Nah, this game is very fun. It's definitely better than City Skylines 2, in my opinion, yes.
Oh, I did not see that skull. That's that's crazy. Yeah, they're planning like this game has been an early access for such a long time because they're trying to release a finished video game. It's just mental, dude. Crazy stuff, honestly. Never seen before. Revolutionary thinking. I would like to add on another one of these bolt assemblers. We need to make the transition towards robots quicker. The only problem is that I just don't have a lot of space. Maybe I can make some over here, though. I think I'm going to add on another two of these bolt assemblers. Yeah, my... Uh, I have some, some wasted space right over here. Which, by the way, was also my nickname in college. Oh, no. I don't want to talk about that part, actually. Um, I think I'm going to plant it over here. Yeah, I'm going to delete this, this workshop. I will make, like, an area over here. I had a lot of nicknames in college, dude. <laughs> Some of them were even true. Hey, thank you very much, Sammy. Or actually, Praetor Phoenix. Big Girth? They called you Big Girth? I'm gonna post... No, I don't believe that. No, I don't, I don't believe that. Sorry, man. Yeah, one of my nicknames was, was high, high Power Shaft. That certainly is factual. I like that I deleted this one for no reason. Okay. Oh, uh, you can build pretty far up. I'm not sure exactly what the limit is, but... Um, we have to pay attention, by the way, to the amount of metal blocks that I have, because currently I will not be harvesting any additional ones, but I think it's fine. I should have plenty of scrap metal and plenty of metal for now. I'm thinking about building a pyramid. I don't know why. Somebody talked about building a pyramid in this game, and I kind of like the idea. How big can I make my pyramid, Chet? They gotta bury me somewhere. When I'm ultimately done, you know? They, they gotta bury me somewhere, right? How can I be a real pharaoh of the of the beavers if they if, if they don't bury me in a pyramid? Yeah, this game needs a big... Well, the geometrical shape is not triangle, I guess. I guess the shape is called pyramid. That's what it needs, clearly. Oh, I actually want to change this one out to... One of those. Painting is hard. It really is, Echo. You know the crazy thing about miniature painting is that these guys on YouTube, right? Always these freaking YouTube guys. They make it look pretty easy. You're like looking at it and you're like, oh yeah, just dip your brush into paint and then just put it over there. And then you give it a try and it turns out those guys are pretty good. Crazy. So you're telling me people that have done this sort of thing for a very long time are more skilled at it than people that have not. I find that very toxic. That's very unfair. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's like Bob Ross. Exactly. Bob Ross. You're like, oh yeah, let's just put a little mountain over there. And then he finally finishes this beautiful painting. He's like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a gigantic tree. Right in front of all this detail that I've been putting down. And I'm watching that. I'm like, Bob, what are you doing? Bob, you just finished that part. Don't ruin it, Bob. And then somehow he fixes it. Yeah, Bob, absolute legend, man. Um, I want to make bot assemblers. Yeah. Yeah. Your StarCraft 2 avatar is Bob Toss. That's a good one. I do like that one, yeah.
Like, for example, I started painting the cape of this mini yesterday. And it doesn't look nearly as good as the video tutorial that I was following along with. Hold up, let me go grab it while we wait for the beavers to build it. So, I actually originally wanted to leave this mini for a while, because I'm a noob, and I feel like I need practice, but then I didn't want to anymore, so I decided to just fucking put it together, spray paint it, and get it done. So I've been working on the armor. The armor's pretty good, right? You got some detail in there and stuff. Overall, not bad. And I started working on the cape, and at first glance, the cape is not that bad either. But notice that, like, you notice this thing right over here, where it's a hard transition? Turns out I was too slow and I let the paint dry too much, and now I'm gonna have to do basically the whole cape all over again. But overall, I'm pretty happy with how it's going, yeah. The gradients are not that easy. Still have a lot of shading and stuff to do on this one, but... It's been, uh... It's been fun. I've been watching so many tutorials and like, I don't, I do this thing where when I start a hobby or I try something new, I, I do this very obsessive, I don't know, I, I, <laughs> I just find myself completely going into it right away. That's an ADHD th trait? Maybe, man. I mean, it's a spectrum, right? So, like, you know, I may not have all of the characteristic traits of ADHD, but, like, I do definitely do that. I'm like, okay, so I need all of this. We're all on a spectrum somewhere. Yeah, absolutely. Like, I mean, I play, I play old school RuneScape, unironically. I'm definitely further on the spectrum than some other people, okay? Oh yeah, no, I still do, Manadar. I still have an obsession with streaming and video editing and content creation in general. Like, whenever I hear people that get bored of it, I'm like, what? There's... <laughs> There's so much! But yeah. You just gotta figure out at which point I guess the obsession becomes a problem. But yeah, I'm happy with how this is going, though. I've been following the video tutorials of a guy called War Hipster On YouTube? He seems like a cool dude. Yeah. I think I mentioned this already, but he, um, he was streaming at some point on YouTube. He streams like a couple times a week on YouTube, and I said hello in the chat on the Loco TV account, and he apparently recognized who I was. Which is kind of funny, because I had that fanboy moment that I kind of feel like sometimes people... Like, I, I, it was weird. It's a small world, man. Also, I never really quite got the parallel of... StarCraft 1 and Warhammer 40k. So somebody posted in the Discord channel what the minis in the early days of Warhammer 40k looked like. Yeah, so this is a Tyranid Screamer Killer from, I think, the 90s? Bro, doesn't that just look like a, a skinny Ultralisk? Isn't that just a skinny Ultralisk? Or am I, like, a StarCraft 1 Ultra? Yeah, it's like a Hydra with the StarCraft... Yeah, it looks a little funky, but... The front half of the Ultralisk, yeah. There's actually so many parallels. It's an urban myth that StarCraft was original. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it originally was supposed to be a Warhammer game. Because it really does kind of look like a Warhammer game. Did I finish the climbing game? Absolutely, man. Finished it. First tried everything. No, I did not finish the, the climbing game yet. Can it still defeat a fully upgraded Archon? 
No. Why can you not, uh... No available workers in district? What? Oh, my beavers are dropping like flies. And my bots apparently are dying out too. Okay, never mind. The breeding pods are back online. Um, I'm gonna have to do a charging setup somewhere, man. Because this is not working. I am... Hmm. I'm running out of space. So I put up one of these 5G towers. Can I just do... Hold up, can I just do a charging set up right over here? I think I can. Yeah, I think I'll do like three of them over here. Uh, it's under science. Charging station. There we go. It's a bit of a maze. It is a bit of a maze, but I actually kind of like how it is a bit of a maze, though, because it kind of looks cool. When I try to create too clean of a city, I'm never too happy with how it turns out. This actually kind of looks like a city now, you know what I mean? Where we try to find space wherever possible and we just chuck structures wherever we can fit them. Yeah, we're using orga organic growth, yeah. Is, seven, is, is 1080p still not available for everybody in the chat? Ay ay ay. No, I, I get 1080p when I load up my, my stream. I don't know, guys. <laughs> what if Twitch does that on purpose, though, where streamers are the ones? We gotta, we gotta feed the conspiracy, you know? When I open up my own stream... You know one thing that actually apparently is a thing that I didn't realize for a very long time? When you're streaming on Twitch, you never see ads on Twitch. So like, when I am live on Twitch, there are no ads that I will see while I'm live on Twitch. Yeah! So when you're a partner on Twitch, and you're looking around on the website, you never see any ads. Is this a streamer privilege? Yeah. It's weird. So what I recommend you do is you just become a Twitch partner. And then you just pretend you're streaming while you're actually just browsing other channels. No, actually, no, actually, that's not a... No, hold up. No, that's not actually a very good plan. Never mind, never mind. Just become a partner, yeah. To prevent annoying moments when you want to show a different... Yeah. So I think originally they did that when um, hosting and rating was introduced. So I think it was actually when rating was introduced. Because when you're looking for a stream to rate, usually streamers only give that about a five second window. Or you're like, ah, oh, fuck it, I'm not going to do it. So... Yeah, they, uh, I think they just removed that. Which actually kind of makes sense, I guess, but... It does feel like a life hack. Um, okay. Luckily for us, we're no longer breeding little beavers. We're going straight to adult beavers now. Which is with these advanced breeding pods. I think I'm going to build a pyramid, guys. We got to look for the perfect spot of my pyramid. Is it going to be on top of right over here? Or is it going to be right up here? We have multiple locations. I feel like over here is easier. I think the second option is easier because it just doesn't require quite as much stuff. Should I level this first though? I think I should. Can we build a nuke? We should build the Valley of Kings. The Valley of Kings doesn't have any pyramids though. Anyways. Our Valley of Kings will have pyramids. <laughs> so 
So how would we build the pyramids, guys? <laughs> Do we build scaffolding around the pyramid? Hmm. We're gonna need some aliens. I think that's the easiest way to do it. Because if we build a ramp for it, the ramp has to be like a mile long. So I think I'm gonna build them using levees. Because I have lots of wood. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we can do like, uh, yeah, yeah. I think this is the way to do it. Get a labor force with nothing to do during the flood season? Right, right, right. I think I'm gonna put my, 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 my pyramid on stilts. Like on a, on a bunch of platforms. That seems like a great way of running it. What could possibly go wrong? Why did we want to make a pyramid again? Somebody brought this up the other day, and I thought it was a cool plan. Oh shit, this is actually... Ah, I didn't realize they could get up this platform. Cool. We gotta have a square base for it, though. <laughs> We're gonna need aliens. <laughs> right away! <laughs> You know, there's still a lot of people that believe that pyramids were built by aliens. I recently went... This Maybe this is my problem, but I recently went on the conspiracy theory side of TikTok. My god, do people come up with some wild ideas. You just broke off the arm of a zerker? Oh no! Dang. That sucks. So the only problem is that we're gonna have to build all the way up. So I'm gonna have to create like a staircase looking thing. There we go. There's even more surprising that some people believe that pyramids weren't built by aliens. That's true, dude. I think what a lot of people don't realize, though, is that they built a lot of pyramids. It isn't just the really big ones that people know of. There's like three really famous ones, but they built dozens. They did a lot. Even the clips are in 720p? Ay, ay, ay. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start up the... Oh, you can't build this on top of... Ah, shit. Okay, I thought you could build levees on top of... Um, these stilts, but you can't. Is there a solid type of block? A terrain block? Other buildings... No, this one is also must be built on the ground. What about storage? What about warehouses? Oh, I can build it out of warehouses! That seems like a dumb idea. <laughs> but I can! 
I could fill it up with dirt over here. That seems like a ton of work though. Is there a resource that I can use? It's gonna have the select item icon over it. Yeah, it will. Ah, maybe it's not that easy. If I build it out of dirt, it's going to take a lot. I don't even know how you do that. So there's these dirt blocks. That require sand. How much sand do I currently have? 249. Ah, we could do that. Okay, so that means I'm actually gonna cancel a bunch of it. Yeah, Twitch is uh, pinching pennies, guys. I'm sorry. I uh, I don't know why. I, I don't know what's changed. At least that's what I think is going on. For some reason, they just make it really tricky for people to watch streams at full quality these days. It really sucks. Making the uh, the viewing uh, for the end user worse is generally not a very strong strategy, if I'm being honest with you. But It seems like they're actively making the service worse sometimes. I don't know why. So wait, I can do these blocks. I could make the base out of dirt. That's true. If it takes too long, we could just build the base out of dirt. So is this always going to have an arrow on it? It is. Why does it have an arrow? I mean, if I want to make it proper though, it should kind of look like this, right? It's an arrows for the click-through rate? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Arrows are good. Hold up right now. I didn't mean to insinuate here that... It's only your channel for me, Loco? How is that possible? I didn't change anything. Um, so we need to definitely make sure that sand is being stored up here. I have some sand currently in storage here in a large industrial pile. I'll have to do the same thing over here. Yeah, so sand needs to be stored up here. So I can build some more sand up there. Yep. So we'll do a... Industrial pal. And this one is gonna have sand in it. Now I obviously need to make sure that the sand is being brought in. The only problem is that setting this all up properly is kind of tricky. Can one of you please remove this freaking tree? Is no one's gonna do that? <laughs> Why not? Okay, no, 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 somebody's doing it. It's just slow going. Okay. Um, so I gotta make sure that the district is gonna be moving sand from District 1 to District 2. The system is still very confusing to me, even though they tried making it better. Import blocked by lack of storage. So maybe it's just gonna work without me having to do anything though. <laughs> nice, Echo. Is this is a new copy-paste, huh? 
Maybe I need to reload that screen? District 2? Yes. Import blocked by lack of storage and workplace demand in this district? I don't understand what the problem is. Import if needed. No, you don't have to import it. Just export it. Import enabled by storage and workplace demand. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's coming in. It's coming in. Cool. Is this square? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is that the correct number or does it have to be bigger than that? Um, do I get a single square middle with nine? It's the fifth of the fifth, right? So, so this should be the middle point right over here. Yeah, it needs to be uneven, exactly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, good. Uh, I do need to place down a bunch of blocks over here too then. And if you want to make it perfectly square, we're going to have to put up some dynamite right over here. I think I will make it perfectly square for once. Even though I've been trying to avoid that in most areas. I think over here would be fine. I have no idea how long this is going to take though. Um, I'm going to need more workers. Whoa, whoa. Is this a mod battle in the chat right now? I have my money on Peter. Peter's gonna win easy, dude. I'm excited. Did we already talk about TikTok getting banned in the US? Uh, it has to pass Senate first, right? I think Biden said he would, would sign it, though. Yeah, I don't know. You don't think Biden knows what TikTok is? I'm sure Biden would love TikTok, man. He has a TikTok account himself, doesn't he? I'm pretty sure they do. Yeah, they've been trying to get TikTok banned for a long time because China. I think that's basically the reasoning. <laughs> American companies having the data is no problem, but you know. Yeah, it's a yearly ban request. It's kind of what Echo Soldier does in Twitch chat too, where he tries to get banned all the time. And this this is not maybe necessarily an annual thing for him, but it does come up regularly. And he just hasn't been granted that wish. Yeah, China bans a lot of stuff because America, absolutely. So, you know. I guess it's all right. TikTok definitely is not the best social media out there, though. It's actually losing a bunch of popularity, too, from what I've gathered. I looked at the, uh, the numbers recently for growth rate of social media. And if I remember correctly, as far as new users go, there was more growth in the fourth quarter of 2023 on Facebook than there was on TikTok. The fuck? Um, 
Like, it grew really fast, really quickly, and then, uh, yeah, I think everybody's got a social media account. Yeah. Ooh, look at these guys. Coffee bushes. That's amazing, dude. Look at this guy, enjoying the coffee bush. Chat, have you heard of Tumblr? Tumblr is my favorite social media. I mean, at this point... Ooh, we have coffee. Nice. At this point, the functionality of TikTok is... Uh, basically entirely picked up as well by Instagram and YouTube Shorts. I would like to have a, um, a little bit of dirt gathering over here, too. I just need to put down a dirt extractor. So these things, 200 horsepower. How much electricity am I using up over here? Yeah, I can, I can plant it down. I can do, like, a dirt extractor over here as well. We can let that be run by robots. You worked on Vine? Vine was kind of cool, right? Like, I was never really active on it. But that did some cool stuff. Um... Where is my dirt manufacturing thing? Or dirt gathering thing? Oh, it's here. Dirt excavator. That's it. Maybe I should make two of them and then put down their own dedicated... Because I'm gonna need a lot of dirt. I think I'll make the entire pyramid out of dirt too. I think I'll give them their own dedicated power supply. Yeah, I'm mostly thinking that because I need to run power to it, but I, yeah, we'll see if I need a second one. If I need a second one, I can add it a little bit later. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put up an engine right over here. I can't because we need to apparently use some boomerinos. One boomerino, please. I may actually have to do it uh, one further to the Such right. Such industrious beavers. Yeah, yeah, no, my beavers don't mess around, dude. So, Loran is out of town for a few days, guys. I'm gonna have to take care of myself. Oof. Oof. Between now and, like, Sunday, how messed up do you think my sleep schedule is going to be? Party time? What? Absolutely not. Party at Locos? Am I gonna eat sandwiches with cheese again? Always, dude. That's in my Dutch contract, though. That's just part of being Dutch. You have to eat cheese sandwiches. I don't make the rules. Uh, treated planks. Wrong one? Treated planks. All night painting session? Oh my god. No, I'm gonna try and not become a full degen. I even already went grocery shopping. I have healthy food in the fridge, Chet. I know. Crazy stuff. Burgers? Burgers are healthy. I will definitely order, like, once, though, yeah. I, I'm allowing myself to order food once. Maybe twice if I'm feeling really lazy or tired. Pizza are healthy, too, guys. Healthy carbs. A little bit of protein. 
I can make some dishwasher salmon. Oh, an American delicacy. Uh, we need some dynamite. Just a bit. Loco, speaking of American delicacies, on a website called Delish. Bro, my entire fucking... What is this website? My entire browser is crashing because of this website. What did you link just now, dude? My Microsoft Edge is no longer working, dude. Close the program? Okay, it's working again. It's working again, guys. We don't have to panic. Let's look at this American delicacy. Wendy's T-Rex burger is now extinct. <laughs> Are you saying this is something you could go and buy at Wendy's? Which from what I understand is a breakfast place. Right? Isn't this supposed to be a breakfast place? It's not a breakfast place? Or am I thinking of something else that is a breakfast place that sounds similar? Wendy's is not a breakfast place? Oh. Oh, Denny's! Denny's, Wendy's. Same difference. I've never been to either, I guess. Wendy's nuts? No, 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 no. Denny's? No, no, hold up. That doesn't make any sense. Hey, the thing is working. I need to put up some power. A little bit of power over here. Is this going to be connected? How do I know if it's connected? I think it has to be connected in the front. Pretty sure. What's up, Damage? Hello. All these white people names? <laughs> yeah, Danny, Wendy. What's the difference, man? So they stopped selling that T-Rex burger? Man, that's so sad. I was just about to go out and get some. Dude, I want to let you guys know that every single time I've been in the US, that I've been even remotely close to Chick-fil-A, I always get excited that I get to go to Chick-fil-A. But every single time I'm this close to going to Chick-fil-A, it's a fucking Sunday? This has happened on like I want to say 10 separate instances. I have never in my life been to Chick-fil-A. Because it's always Sunday. Yeah, for some reason it seems to always be Sunday. Either I'm flying or, or like home on the, on the... Like they have a, they have a Chick-fil-A at like the LAX airport, at least they used to. It's always fucking close, dude. For some reason my flights out are pretty much always on. Yeah, chicken chicken is, is is illegal on Sundays or something. I don't really know. <sighs> Wendy's nuts. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Ogila. I should get cravings not on Sunday. That's a good point. I'm building my scaffolding for the pyramid. This is how they built the pyramids. I think we figured it out on this stream today. Somebody get the archaeologists together. There are ten types of people in the world. Those who understand binary and those who don't. There you go.
That's a cube loco, not a pyramid. The pyramid is gonna go on top of it, of course. Can you guys not reach that? You need me to make... Okay. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna make a pyramid. I have 20 unemployed bots? My sub months are over the hill. That's beautiful, Boiler. Or, wait. Thank you very much. 40 months. Wait, 40 is over the hill? Is that what you're saying right now? Yikes, dude. That's gonna upset guys in the chat. Yeah, no, that's gonna really upset him, dude. Thank you very much for the 40. Um... District 2. I think I'm gonna need four more beavers there. Or four more bots, rather. Does that mean I have to end my sub if it gets too old? Uh, no, no, no. I would not worry about that if I were you. Don't worry about that, Pyro. Never, dude. Just keep it going. Never cancel it, is what I say. I'm not biased at all, though. So I recommend you listen to me. I'm gonna let my robot parts be made by robots. It's a good idea. Um, what about my... My loop factory? Yeah. Oh, I don't have enough science points for that. Okay. What about the hydroponic garden? Yeah. I think I'm gonna have to set up a... Um A second one of these things. Another number cruncher. Because I'm not crunching enough numbers as it is. It's just kind of tricky because I don't have the room for it. This, this building is so awkwardly shaped. That building it is actually kind of tricky. Did I get in and out in California? I have had in and out, yeah. The thing about in and out though, is that guys in the chat hyped me up for it for years. And they're like, oh my god, Loco, this is gonna be the greatest thing! And it was, you know, it was okay. But because, you know, I, I was I was a little overhyped for it. Yeah. Have I ever had Burger King? Burger King we have in the Netherlands. I had some, uh... I talked about this on stream at the time, and people were like, Well, Loco, that's your problem, because you didn't get the, s the secret menu. It's like... It's a secret! How am I supposed to know about the secret menu? If it's not on the thing... How am I... How am I supposed to figure that out? There's no way, guys. You just sneak in. You ask chat. I ask chat for everything, to be fair, Pyro. Do I want to really give you guys this burden? Yeah, actually, no. If I would have thought about it, sure. Interesting business strategy. The customer is not worthy. That's what I should do, dude, for my subscriptions. Guys, we have a secret menu. Right here on this website. It is called Tier 2 Subs. But only cool guys... ...can figure out how that works. Yeah, yeah, only the coolest of guys in the chat can figure that sort of thing out. You get secret emotes... ...a secret superiority complex as well for the other guys in the chat. That's pretty sick. I do recommend it. 
totally cool guy here, I guess. <laughs> it worked! Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Shield of Gods. Very nice. Thank you, Stuart, for the 30. I think I'm good without the secret menu, Kek. Kek. I get it, I get it. How's my pyramid coming along? It's not. They're they're putting down dirt though. Giant shrimp gave a sub to the secret menu. Ooh. Spicy. Just like the secret menu emotes. Spicy indeed. Tricked another one? No, no, no. We call it convincing, okay? We don't call it tricking. Even if it is a trick, which it isn't. I'm running out of lumber at this rate, dude. But as long as there's a, a dirt pile, I guess we're good. Low Daddy is a tier 3 sub. <laughs> hey, bat tight ended. Noise. I already have a massive woodcutter's district, though, right over here. I don't think I really need more of it. Although my woodcutter camps are going down. Um, I just built a bunch of important stuff, though, so I guess that may be the reason. What's going on, Rumpus Television? How are you, dude? Guys, I watched the first episode of the live-action version of, what's it called, Avatar, The Last Airbender. I'd never seen that entire show ever in my life. I feel like I'm basically a weeb now. No, 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 I'm officially a weeb now. It was actually pretty good. Yeah, it was actually pretty good. I now understand why the guy has an arrow on his head. I've always wondered about that. I never really knew. I haven't seen the OG series, no. I feel like the OG series may be more fun though, because I'm never really... I don't know. I should probably go check it out. Not watching the live action show without the cartoon loco? Bad? Did you just call it a cartoon? Bro, that's disrespectful. Oh, I need... I need... Uh... South Park is my personal favorite anime. The OG series is amazing. Yeah, I heard so. Um, I need some science. Oh, the science goes in a barrel. I forgot about that part. We need some science juice. They cut some so much from the animated show. Yeah, I can imagine. I may check out the anime. I think it's probably fun. But, where the hell can you watch the anime, guys? Is this gonna be that question again? Is it- is it something you can just fucking watch without needing to seal the- the internet seas? It's on Netflix? Oh, okay. Oh shit, I forgot about this part. It is at the second level. <laughs> Thank you, David.
You found some people that stream Dragon Ball on Twitch? Oh my god. Yeah, it's funny, right? Like, it's a problem as soon as copyright owners complain, but if they don't... <laughs> apparently it's fine. It's a weird, Yeah, it's a little bit weird. It's the same when people used to fucking, like, stream, like, full seasons of MasterChef. You're like, what? How is this... <laughs> How is this okay? Ugh. You do love some MasterChef? Yeah, it's a good show. Okay, so we've actually kind of started making use of the amount of electricity that I'm producing right now. What is this gonna, this huge pile of dirt? It's gonna be, bro, it's gonna be my pyramid. Now, do we need to have a burial chamber, Chet? I think we need to have a burial chamber in here somewhere. Absolutely. They gotta yeet me in my box. I don't know what my burial chamber is gonna look like, though. Um, it needs to be solid. You apologize for the rudeness. I get it, I get it. It's okay, man. Um, it needs to be solid. Oh, I could, I could put a, um, a small warehouse down and we can fill it with whatever we like. And then we can bury it. I think that's the play. I think that's the play. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely the play. It's gonna be right over here. In the middle. I think that's the middle. You can't wait to see a pyramid made out of stairs? No, it's gonna be made out of dirt. Okay, there we go, there we go. Okay. What are we gonna put in here though? What is my most valuable resource? Bot heads? <laughs> I, can, I can put a body in here. Yeah, it's a very expensive thing to do, I guess. But I feel like that is appropriate. Yeah, we'll put- we'll put a bunch of bot hats in here. We'll put friendship in here. Usually- usually what they put in here was everything they would ever need in the- in the afterlife. All I need in my afterlife is a head. I just need a skull. Just one skull. Is this reachable? I don't think it's reachable. I may need to do another one. You would need one loco TV sub in the afterlife. That's beautiful, man. Thank you, Bunny. I will take that as a compliment. Um, I still have a lot of uh, unemployed robots, which is not a good thing. Robots are meant to be used. Don't tell them that, though. How do I... Which one is the... the ah, here we go. This is that screen. Bot assemblers? I still don't have enough science points for that. Farmhouses? Yeah. Fermenters? Now, I know what you're thinking. Fermenter. I just met her. Right. Um, grease factory? Okay. Can't have anybody working my loop factory yet, but... That'll be done soon enough, I'm sure. Thank you, Bruce Lee! Uh, didn't really think about this very well, did I? So really just the usual. Maybe it's fine actually. Maybe I can do it with, uh, with one single staircase. Is that a lot? I think that's actually accessible. Thank you Hank Tank and Bruce Lee for the support. Appreciate it. Thank you. Is it legal to ferment someone? 
I don't know, man. That's a weird question. This reporter can only guess... No. You know who are supposedly the most likely candidates for grave robbing back in the day? Because they put all these false passageways, right? And the difficulty of finding the entrance and all that. Very, very tricky. Turns out apparently the most likely candidates for the grave robbing were the people that built <laughs> the freaking pyramids. I guess it makes sense. They knew everything. Yeah. Okay. I think this is enough heads. You guys really want to put more heads in here? No, I think this is enough heads. This is enough heads. Yeah, perfect. I hope that icon is not going to be constantly there. <laughs> That's going to make it pretty easy for, for them to find where, I, where I'm buried. I wonder if... Oh! I can't build on top of it? Can I build on top of it after I have... Never mind, guys! The heads are still there, though. The bot heads are still there. That's actually just fine, I guess. I don't know how this is gonna work out, because now there's a chance that it's just gonna get pushed up, and that the bot heads will just appear on top of the pyramid. Or they will sh slide off the side. Yeah, I think that will probably get pushed out. What am I building? Every reasonable player's structure, okay? We're building a pyramid. Yeah, the rubble here is gonna be a bit of a mess. Can you guys build that one first, please? Thank you. That's okay, Dark Server. You'll get to it, man. You'll figure it out. It's gonna be a small pyramid. It's not the size of the pyramid that matters, though. It's about what you do with it, guys. Actually, I do think it's actually about the size of the pyramid. Yeah, no, that actually definitely matters. A larger pyramid is definitely preferable to a smaller pyramid. Yeah, it's definitely about the size. And the material, too. Right? Like, say you make a pyramid out of cardboard. It's not the same as making it out of, like, fucking granite or something. Yeah, I think larger is better. Just like with many things in life. Whoa, I have a lot of coffee. Nice. Very good, very good. You think it's about the girth of the pyramid? Well, usually it's a square. Right? It makes sense to start with a square foundation, so... Um... I don't think the girth is really necessarily that important, but I guess we all have our preferences. Yeah, they would start with a square base, right? Imagine having a small pyramid, LMAO. I know, dude. That would be a bit cringe. Mad cringe, dude. For real, for real. No cap. On God. I don't know how far I need to go with my... Uh... I'm, I'm using the ramp theory. The spiraling ramp theory. 
I can put something on top of it. I can put... Hmm... What should I put on the top of it? So the top is either a 1 by 1 or a 3 by 3 I see we are Yo! playing the Dutch simulator again. Four years! Thank you very much. I should put a tree on there? A tree at the top? Just one that is just there? I kind of like that, actually. Yeah, a pine tree to cap it off. Because, you know, this is clearly pyramid shaped. Would you say that's coincidence? Would a windmill fit on top of it? Uh, we don't have windmills actually with this one. This one only has water wheels and engines. Otherwise, a wind wheel would have clearly been the correct choice. We do have these things, large power wheels, but they're not quite the same thing. I could add a brace here as well at the top, actually. A brazier might actually be better. Better than a tree. I like the idea of a brazier. We could also add dozens of braziers. Yeah, yeah, it should be a single layer. I can maybe put braziers on every corner. I don't really need to go this far. I'm getting a little carried away here. Maybe I do need to go further though. Never, never such a thing as too many braziers, yeah. Um... There we go. I'm building a, uh, yeah, yeah. This is the likely way to build pyramids, but... Supposedly, the pyramids back in the day, supposedly they were capped with a golden thingy. Like a golden stone, all the way at the very top. Which is kind of sick. There are recreations of what they would have actually looked like back in the day. Yeah. Supposedly... It should have looked like that. Uh, it should have looked like that back in the day, which is kind of insane. <sighs> it would have been very tricky to look at, though. Like if the if the sun is shining on this and there's a gigantic, you know, triangle-shaped white structure in the middle of the fucking desert, it would be insanely difficult to look at. Yeah. Which sounds pretty amazing, to be honest. Very impressive that aliens knew how to put that together, man. <laughs> you can say many things about the aliens, Chet, but God. They sure built some useless shit. Yeah, it's freaking Protals. Why do you guys think a Protals Nexus? Looks triangular, Chet. It looks very similar to ancient structures that seem quite mystical to us. Hmm. Coincidence? I think not. Uh, where's my, um... Brazier. 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 They're channeling cosmic energy to the tip where the ships landed to refuel? Oh, is that the current working theory? That makes perfect sense.
Dum bum bum. Look at them, man. Going around and around and around. There's just one brazier that I missed because there's a currently a staircase on it. Uh. Oh, happiness is going up naturally because there's a lot of braziers and a pyramid shaped structure now. I have an injured beaver, five of them. At least we're no longer having that issue with uh, the robots though. I have 15 unemployed robots? Oh my God. I think we might actually be getting to the point where we do want to start unemploying every single regular beaver. Honestly, we may be at the point where we just have surpassed the final generation of beaver. Because why keep the beavers around? What's the point of the beaver, Chet? Just let them die out. Let the robots take over every job. Robots are better than beavers in every way. Yeah. I can definitely do that. The age of the robot begins. So I currently still have 14 employed beavers, but that is just a limitation on science alone. I should probably pause a few of these things as well. Because I don't need that much. Look at them. They're so happy right now. A new level of happiness has been achieved. I, I think you can play this without any living beaver, yeah. That's automation, propaganda, true. Forty-two. Forty-three. I can make one beaver and just make him super happy and we can get an insane score. He basically gets zero time to work. We can have like one very elite group of, of beavers just out of one little pod. I'll let them all die out first and then we'll probably re-enable one of the pods. It's time for a dynasty of beavers that do nothing but sit around and have automation do everything. Yeah. Call him Neo? I should. Look at this guy, 72 years old. Final generation of beaver. That's beautiful, man. Low daddy, low you woo. You woo. Thank you very much, the D hunter. I'm thinking about making another small little one over here. Small little one. Not my nickname in college. Thank you very much, D the hunter. 121 months. It's a long time. That's over 10 years. A long time. That's like a century, dude. Yeah, almost. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That would work.
Dude, I have become the fucking creator of pyramids. <laughs> Didn't mean for this to happen, but... Before you were a sub, you had a lot of hair, and now no more? Yeah, this is what happens to you, Chet. You become a loco TV sub, immediately you start balding. That's just how it goes, man. But that's a sacrifice you're willing to create, right? That's that's a sacrifice anybody's willing to make. Absolutely. Molding or balding? That's a good point, actually. Maybe he's just molding. Back from the Heroes of the Storm days. Dita Hunter did a lot of molding back then. Maybe if you would have gone for a tier 2 or a tier 3 sub, it would have never been an issue. Yeah. Yeah, Midden is right. Called out by the streamer. Yeah, hair loss is just RNG, guys. Not much you can do about it. When is the part where we sacrifice little Timmy to the pyramid? Uh, no, hold up, hold up right now. Slander? Slander, hello? That'll be on Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, next week, Tuesday. <laughs> you think hair loss is a skill issue? Yeah, just roll better genetics. Nah, maybe your testosterone levels are just too high, you know? Naturally born... Naturally born bodybuilder. Why do you think all top tier bodybuilders are bald? Is there anything else you guys need to do here? Not really, eh? Okay. We're almost done. Now we have to demolish everything. This is tedious as hell. <laughs> I'm gonna have to clear the rubble as well. Would I be playing V Rising again when 1.0 hits? Uh, maybe. I mean, I have played that game for quite a few hours already. It was really fun though, last time we played. We currently still have 63 regular beaver humans. I mean, beavers. Okay, that is the last part of the pyramid done. I will have to remove all the rubble. Man, this is more work than the actual pyramids. How long alone could that have possibly been to, to make? A couple days? Okay. 12 days? I think so too. I actually kind of want to put some dynamite up here. Yeah, hold up. We gotta do a little bit of dynamiting. You think it's about two to five days? Yeah, I think so too. Um, I'm gonna do some dynamiting over here. To give it a bit more of a straight edge. Uh, 
And also over here. Okay. Let us delete the rubble in the meantime. Which is a very tedious process. Like, you can select all of the things. But it only does it one level at a time, like one layer at a time. <laughs> so it's a bit weird how they manage this in the game. I don't quite understand why they do it this way. Like, rather than just allowing you to select everything on the screen, they're like, no, 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 no. <laughs> that would make too much sense. See, now that the pyramid is done, a new level of happiness has immediately been achieved. That just makes sense. Okay! There it is! <laughs> it's kind of pretty! Do I have to remove these blocks? Mm, I think I will remove those blocks. Yeah. This does look like a landing port for aliens. I'm actually gonna do it from the other side. I think that's easier. It looks kind of nice. What do you mean? It actually looks kind of nice? Hello? What were you expecting? Hold up right now. It actually looks kind of nice. Uh, hello? Excuse me? We've had one pyramid, yes. What about second pyramid? That one's already begun. Right over here. Oh, they've already finished the first part of it. Um... Now make a pyramid with a big-ass fountain on it. Now, we still have a monument to unlock. It just takes 12.5k science, and it's kind of expensive. So I don't know if I'm gonna bother with it, but... There is a... There is still one monument that we can get. It just takes a while before we get there, I guess. Um, let me see. There we go. So we gotta change some priorities up here. So hopefully they will actually build it in order, because otherwise it's gonna be a little annoying. I think this works. Uh, so I have two of these automated things. Two of these um, number crunchers. And they seem to generate quite a bit of it. So every hour of in-game time that goes by, they generate 10 each. So it does build pretty quick. It's just that I also need to still spend science on automating every job. So... I already have the majority of the jobs automated, but say the, Yeah, this is 2500, so... The smelter? Are the beavers dying out? Ah, uh, that's one way to put it. <laughs> that is... Yeah, that's one way to put up... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dying out is one way to phrase that. I'm gonna put one round of these over here, too. Okay. We get very squared off water. It's not like- uh, I like my water straight. It's, yeah, it's more population control. Hey, Ilansky, thank you very much for the eight month resub. Oh. 
I guess this works. What are my favorite coffees to get from a coffee shop? I uh, don't really go to coffee shops very much, to be honest. I make basically my coffee always at home. Like a normie. Ugh. How boring. The fact that you didn't say Americano means that your US citizenship is revoked? Yeah, do people drink a lot of Americanos in America though? Because whenever I see videos of people that go to like, I don't know, Starbucks or whatever, it's basically people buying desserts, right? Like it's uh, very little black coffee. <laughs> Isn't an Americano always black, or am I crazy? Like, is, isn't it just a shot of espresso with a little bit of water? America is the answer to every question, Loco. All right, all right. I don't like black coffee. Yeah. I mean, I also do like other coffee, don't get me wrong. I just don't really love drinking calories, I guess. <laughs> That's basically what it comes down to. Okay. There it is. It's actually kind of nice. The best coffee you can buy is from Tim Horton. Tim who? Timmy. I'm on a first name basis. Tim Horton, here's a who. One of the best movies. Okay. these things right over here there's more sugar in most Starbucks drinks than your daily recommended intake but sugar tastes good dude woo woo thank you very much cypher appreciate that Well, daily recommended intake for sugar is like, what, 30 grams or whatever? It's not a lot, man. What's going on, Monkey Man? A real gun. Appreciate it. There's sugar in loads of stuff. One of my favorite examples of that is the fact that, at least back in the day, there was a problem with this. Subway in the Netherlands is not allowed to sell their subways or their subs and call it bread because apparently the sugar content in the bread puts it in cake category. Um, I don't know if they've ever reduced the amount of sugar or whatever, but they never talk about bread. They always talk about subways or subs, so it's technically not considered bread. <laughs> Which I think is pretty fucking funny. Yeah, it's pretty great. I rarely go to Subway, but I always think about that whenever I go. I'm like, yeah, this is, uh... According to the Dutch uh, laws, this is not technically bread. Kind of funny. I don't know, man. It's difficult. Like, if you want to cut out sugar entirely, it's very tricky. It's also not really realistic. I think it's just something you kind of want to pay attention to, you know? You also have to live life. Gotta try a little bit, though, I guess.
Ooh. A dead robot! 70 years old! Sad. Yeah, everything in moderation. It is possible, but... At least I have the tendency to immediately go to the extreme end of things, you know? Like, okay, well, I guess sugar bad. I'm never gonna eat sugar again! But I think a bit of moderation is a good idea, yeah. Keto is pretty great, though, yeah. If you, uh... Want to lose weight or whatever? Seems very, uh... Straightforward. But still. <sighs> you ate a tub of Ben and Jerry's last night before bed? Dude, I see that all the time from bodybuilders, Bunny Warren. You're just bulking, okay? They call that the bulk. It's okay. Those big boy bodybuilders, they eat a tub of Ben and Jerry's all the time. <laughs> Great way to get your calories in for the day. You're on a perma bulk? Nice, dude. Yeah, bulking is definitely easier than, than cutting is. I bought, uh, so I, I mentioned I went grocery shopping, right? Because Lauren is out of town for a couple days. I did buy a big tub of ice cream. <laughs> I figured I was going to cook healthy dinners, okay? This was not part of the healthy dinner section. I got the the chocolate chip one. It's like vanilla with chocolate chips. Keto sucks in America. You can't eat at most restaurants. Sixty percent of the supermarket is out of the question. Yeah, Meal yeah. prep is the only way to do it. I don't think that's an America specific thing, though. It is just difficult to go to restaurants in general, right? When you're trying to diet. Yeah, avoiding sugar entirely is very tricky. But keto doesn't mean absolutely zero carbs necessarily, right? It just means that you have to stay below a certain level. Because technically zero carbs would, I guess, also include like no vegetables and all that. And I think everybody knows that vegetables would be a good idea. Yeah, it's like, uh, exactly, like very low carbs. There's a little bit of margin for error. What's up, Sushi Belts? I think if you're gonna have to, like, if you're gonna follow a very strict diet, you basically have to cook yourself. Not really feasible to go to restaurants. I, I didn't really look at the exact patch notes, Gideon, but, um... Yeah, I heard they're doing a massive update for RimWorld. Keto suggests that vegetables are optional. I don't know, man. I had some leftover Chinese food for lunch today. There were some vegetables in that, so I think I got that covered for the day. <laughs> um, more braziers. I don't know the names, Rumpus. You're doing a meat only diet? That has unironically become pretty popular over the last couple of years. Very little scientific research, though. But yeah, carnivore diet is a real thing. There's some crazy stories of people that have, like, autoimmune diseases and stuff that, like, get that entirely cleared up from eating meat only. 
It kind of feels like a last-ditch effort, though. Like, <laughs> if you really have tried everything and nothing seems to do anything. Because that comes with a whole list of other implications. Let's go to Mactivus. Hello, hello. There it is. My little bit, a little baby pyramid. Okay, we have a large one over here and a small one over there. Yeah, yeah, we have multiple pyramids. I'm gonna do another one over here. We do multiple pyramids everywhere. I quite like these pyramids. They're kind of cool. Um, this is definitely my favorite base that I've ever built in this game. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, nah, that's too big. I think that's it. Nine! How many pyramids is that? Three. We're doing, we're doing three pyramids. I have some empty space. I think I can probably just plot it all the way out like so. Because I'm pretty sure I don't have to like go back and do it. Because they will only build the previous block whenever it's possible. So I think I can just put it down like so and then come back later and they'll just finish it all by themselves. I don't have to sit here and micromanage them is what I'm saying. Um... Razor. There we go. We just need to find ways for them to go, you know, up and around. Actually, maybe I can do that from here. Is that possible? Because I think they just have to go... Yeah, maybe I need to, like, have one of them available, like so. I'm not exactly sure. Do you think they had blueprints for... ...pyramids as well in Egypt? <laughs> they just figured out how to do it very efficiently. They just put it over there. There you go. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We have done basically everything that there is to do in the game, guys. Only uh, eight actual beavers remain. A dying breed of beaver. I don't really need to unlock these bridges. I've made a bridge. Large warehouses? I didn't actually bother with large warehouses, which are a bit weird, but. Okay, a stream gauge. It's basically one of those sticks you put in the water and then it tells you what the depth is. I don't think we needed it. Deep mechanical fluid pump pumps water or bad water on one side and discharges them on another more effective than a regular Yeah, so this is kind of cool because it allows you to pump basically stuff into I Don't really know exactly how it works, but didn't really need it in this run Food factory I wanted to set that up, but I haven't I don't know why Maybe I should set one up over here. I originally wanted to put my monument here. But the problem is that monument is still ages away before I can finally get there. So I think I'm gonna put it over here instead. Yeah. This is a food factory. Robots don't eat food, though.
Um, so the only problem is that the entrance is on the other end. Ah, uh, you know what? No, I'm not gonna do it over here. I can put it literally anywhere. Deep mechanical fluid pump. That was one of my nicknames. In college, but not one I'm particularly proud of, so I'd appreciate it if you guys don't bring that up. I have played Oxygen Not Included. Yeah, yeah, great game, dude. Quite a bit of it, too. Um, I think I did like two complete playthroughs, basically, or at least what I consider to be complete playthroughs. I didn't quite do the entire game, because there's a lot, but... Dun dun dun. So there's also these mines, I guess, that I can still get. A wooden fence. Okay. Yeah, so the only thing I don't really have here is tribute to ingenuity. I think I have all the resources to basically build this immediately, though. I mean, it's not gonna be immediate, but it'll be pretty quick. A hundred treated planks. Yeah, I have all the resources for it. I have the power line for it. I just need 12,000... 12,000 points. Um, easiest way, I guess, to get points is just to have a whole lot of... Um, hmm. A whole lot of um, science, guys. The number crunches, they, they do generate a ton, though. Maybe I can just do a bunch of, um... It just takes a while, man. Like, you you passively get a ton of science. But, yeah, it takes it takes a while before this science-y thing builds up. So I have a resource for it, I can build it. But we just need to sit around and either add on more, and then sit around a little bit less time, or we uh, just don't build the structure. Wait, the DLC for RimWorld is supposed to release next month? Already? Oh shit, I didn't realize it was that quick. That's awesome. I could have read the Steam post. But that's a lot of words, guys. I prefer having a streamer read the news post to me instead, you know? <laughs> yeah, reading. Ugh. Reading is for nerds. Imagine reading. I'm rereading the Stormlight Archive again. Still reading that? It's gonna be a while. Still in the second book, dude. These books are thick. Almost as thick as your... Um, no, no, no. No, hold up. Oh, hold up right now. Bum bum ba da ba da bum bum bum. Can do another number cruncher. Around the batteries we go. Just like so. How is this coming along? It's not done. 
Hello? How much dirt do we have? I have plenty of dirt. Or do I? Yeah, I do. My dudes are just slacking, man. Waiting for materials. Hello, this pyramid is not gonna build itself, okay? Very toxic behavior here by my by my robots and stuff. Can't believe it. I guess they've started this project up there. Kind of want to do another one of these big storage things. How far can we build them? <laughs> you can stack them, dude, for a long while. Sand. 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 Guess what the last one's gonna have, Chet? Yeah, still sand. Yeah, no, it's still gonna have sand. No, it would- no, it was still gonna be sent. You can build very high in this game, actually. Much higher than you really need to be. Okay. Another staircase? There's no way I'm gonna fill this all up. Eh, maybe I will. It's a lot of sand, is what I'm saying. Maybe I should have done this for wood as well. Okay. It's a bit of a project, but... Oh shit, I never put down the roads in between. I should still be able to make that pretty easily. Just like so. Okay, and then maybe I can build like a decorative... Decorative. Decorative. A monument. Can we do a... Do we have a 3x3 three three monument? Do we not have any 3x3 three three monuments? I could put a bench up there. We can put a clock. I do love clocks. Clocks are amazing. I guess this is my 3x3. Three three. Yeah, that is the 3x3 three three structure. Make a garden lounge? If I want to do a garden lounge, I'm going to have to build it a, a little bit higher up still. I do like the idea, though. Isn't the whole city a garden lounge? Basically, when you think about it, the entire outside natural world is a garden lounge. Um, we can do a rooftop terrace right up here, together with a couple shrubs. Nothing quite like, after a long day of work, climbing 17 flights of chair, uh, stairs just to go chill at a rooftop terrace. Yeah, we really need to invent elevators. The world outside is your backyard? That's a beautiful view, Ray Tracer. Look at this, man. You get to chill in the terrace to look. 
at the pyramid. Yeah. It's a good look. We have a lot of unpowered... Uh... Hmm. I think I need to do some charging over here along the main road. Because I have... Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna set up a little charger station right over here, I guess. I don't really want to do a charger station over here. I guess very soon we will not have any beavers anymore, so I can get rid of these things. That's nice. <laughs> Beaver happiness is no longer a concern of ours. I can go ahead and put up a large power wheel that is of course uh, of course is going to be manned by robots and I will set up a charging station over here and a 5G tower I guess to keep motivations and spirits high Oh yeah yeah no uh, uh, uh science does not require anything Uh, let me see, where is my charger? The chargers are over here. There we go. Kind of want to move all of this over. Can I put it up over here? Is that going to fit? I want to put up the charger station over here. How much electricity does this require? 50, okay. I'm pretty sure this is gonna fit just fine. These things generate quite a bit. Yeah, so that's perfect actually. So these generate 300. This is gonna give me just enough for all of that. Obviously I'm gonna have to destroy some plants, but... Soon at this point we won't need plants anymore either. We'll put up a 5G tower here and then we should be good. 5G towers are meant to motivate people. I think that's beautiful. People and beavers. We should delete all that food. We have a lot of building projects currently. I'm thinking about maybe setting it up on our... I feel like low beaver would be a bit sus. Why would that be sus, Grimdy? <laughs> Max priority, all the things. Oh, okay, Grimdy. Alright, alright. What's the problem here? Ah, that was the problem, okay. All of this is of course also top priority. Loco, what if I'm not a beaver and not people? What motivates me? Are you saying you only feel exclusively motivated by beavers? Interesting. Everybody loves beavers. Yeah. That's part of the human experience. Turn them back on. We need more robots. I currently have 69 free beds. Nice. 36 unemployed beavers. I will give him a spot to work. We need a low nice emote. That'd be cool, actually. 
I've replaced the parks with robot beaver charge up places. What a beautiful day. A beautiful day for this kingdom. A beautiful day for everybody. The beavers yearn for the mines? Is that so? Hmm. I don't yet have a dirt extractor set up. Bat tide approaching? That's okay. This is for the, yeah, regular humans. And with humans, I mean beavers. Maybe I should have been very specific, but that's okay. I should have beaver specific. I tried. Okay. Charge up, beavers. Charge up. Built the 5G tower. What's this? Must be placed on top of other buildings? What do you mean? Are you not placed on top of other buildings? Oh, you know what? In this district, there's actually never any humans or beavers. Um, so I guess putting up those types of decorations might not be very efficient. I can do a roof. Hype. That's it, man. <laughs> the problem is in this area, there's no humans or beavers. I'll put a, um... A little beaver statue. I like that. Yeah, we're making a little uh, beaver charging station. Ultimately, I would like this to be operated on by beavers. Hey, I currently have 12 unemployed beavers. Or... Robots, rather? Robots, beavers, what's the difference anyway? Like, at this point, it's starting to all blur together. Large power wheel. So can this not be... Only beavers are allowed to work here? Interesting. Only beavers. This is the only job that only beavers can do. It's one of my favorite social media, by the way. Only beavers. I think it's uh, really... Uh Going to be popular, moving forward. <laughs> I thought the same thing, Grimdy. Manual labor is not something robots can do, apparently. What a sad day. I guess I can replace it over here, though, with an engine. Like and subscribe. Look at these beavers. Only eight of them remain. Wait, no. Fifty wait, we still have fifty-one. Eight working beavers still remain. There's just thirty-nine unemployed beavers. What a terrible day. Do you think this will be the fate of humanity too, if we manage to automate everything? That the last generation of humans basically do nothing but chill? And then ultimately, they will just shut down our reproductive systems. Wake up, sheeple. It's already happening! <laughs> We automate everything and we'll fight over who owns the output. Ah, okay, okay. Smart. Du, du, du. What's this problem? Everything's set up for dirt, no? Ah, this one is not set up for dirt. Okay. Okay. 
bat tide is coming. Looks like my setup over here is doing quite all right. That'll be our small little baby pyramid. Looks like the one over here may actually be finished. So the one that I micromanaged did significantly worse than the one that I just fully automated. Let that be a lesson. <laughs> uh, let me see. Decoration. Gotta put a brazier up. the dam. Open the dam. I think there was a second brazier that I missed. Yeah. Ah, fuck. I'm dumb. I mean, I'm damn. Um, I missed two additional ones because I'm stupid. Looks like this one over here is done now. Let's go and delete it. You guys are stranded? Looks like we have a few dead robot beavers. That's what you get for trying to recycle. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't have done that. They were trying to recycle the resources. That's a yikes for me. Should just let it sit there, man. Okay. Second, I mean, I think for every pyramid ever built, a few sacrifices had to be made. There's no way everybody survived, right? Like at some point you get one of those like, I don't know, very heavy blocks fall on your head. Kind of sucks, but it is what it is. I think that's basically what we just had as well. It's a, uh, it's an accident. It happens. Doki Doki Literature Club win? Uh, I already know the ending, because guys in the chat spoiled me on that years ago. So, I don't think I'm gonna play it. But thank you for the 31 month resub. Otherwise, I definitely would have, though. Of course. Damn you, guy in the chat. You're a guy in the chat, Muktafus. Was it you? I knew it. You never spoil. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Pyramid number drei. Hammergeil. Sehr gut. It's kind of small though. It's not nearly as impressive as this one over here. The size of the pyramid really does matter. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit sad. That's what she said? Yeah. The Nubian pyramids were also small. Yeah, look at them. So this is what they look like apparently in 2001. These guys built a whole load of small pyramids in the south of Egypt. How lame are those? They're not they're not nearly as cool. 
Three of the pyramids are reconstructed. This is what they were supposed to look like. Okay. They're kind of tiny, you know? Like, if you're gonna make a pyramid, at least make it large. That's what I think we learned today. Yeah. You don't want anybody to come on over and be like, ha 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 ha. Look at your tiny pyramid. Like, that's just embarrassing. They were poor, Loco. They were pharaohs. They couldn't have been that poor. Yeah, they were a noob. Yeah, they were Nubians. So maybe that was just by, you know, it's very outset. The fact that they were called noobs. Maybe that was just a bad naming scheme. I wonder if someday we'll reconstruct the pyramids. Supposedly, they're actually doing that right now. Apparently, they're actually like redoing some of the uh, some of the damages. I was watching a video on that. I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, it was a bit of debate because a lot of people are like, "No, we should leave it as it is," rather than like you know try to redo it. Yeah, it's always tricky, right? Like with any arch, like any archaeological things. Like, w when do you reconstruct and when do you like, you know? Because like paintings, whenever paintings get dirty and messy, we have people that fix them up, right? But we don't really do that for archaeological things so often, it seems. Yeah, if you straighten out the leaning tower in Pisa, is that a is that a bad thing? It's gonna collapse at some point. They'll have to straighten it, otherwise it's just gonna fall. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the best solution is. I mean, we definitely have technology in 2024 to make pyramids. It's just that we would never decide to do that. Because <laughs> it would be ridiculously expensive. And for all intents and purposes, pretty pointless. <laughs> Complete waste of resources. What about we spend that money on like, you know, making bombs and weapons and stuff instead? See, that's a much better plan. <laughs> See, that's a great idea. They already did some straightening to Pisa? Oh, okay. They wanted to stay crooked to a certain extent. They deliberately left it? That's so funny. They've already stabilized it? <laughs> That's funny, though. Oh, sorry. Bunny Warren is explaining the game. I didn't- I missed your question. So basically there are seasons in this game. In the past there were only ever droughts, but these days there's also bad tides. Which is basically when bad water comes in. So it comes over here and then it flows in that direction. And in the past it would flow through my city, which is bad. But I created this dam that I open whenever there's clean water coming in. And then I have this secondary dam that I close up whenever there's clean water, but I open it. So I do them in reverse. So now the, the bad water flows that way. And I have this basin over here that is gigantic that I'm never gonna run out of during the tide at least it's kind of a cool concept sorry I didn't notice that I'm sure people have done the calculations how much it would cost to build a pyramid the size of the Great Pyramids in, you know, modern ages, or modern times. It would be ridiculous. It would still be very difficult. No, the building, the, the water just comes in. So it's still here for 1.9 days and then it cycles out. Are these guys going to die or how does this work? They're just stranded. Okay, fine, I'll save you guys. I don't 
don't think I can die. Five billion? That's just a rough estimate though, I guess. How much would it cost to build today? It is believed that around 10,000 to 20,000 people participated in the construction of the pyramid, which took place over the course of 20 to 27 yeah, years during Khufu's reign. Okay. Five billion dollars? I mean, it is that is just a wild guess, right? There's no basis here. If we estimate the cost of the materials at current prices, the total spending on building materials would be around $1 billion. But they built them basically next to the quarry, right? Like, that's where they... Yeah. It mentions using concrete? Okay. <sighs> I have never played Stellaris. No, dude. Stories from guys in the chat kind of worry me if I ever were to give that game a try. I feel like that's a dangerous game. Very risky game to pick up, man. One does not just install Stellaris. Because before you know it, a hundred hours go by. Five hundred hours go by. And you've achieved nothing. <laughs> That's the word on the street. I have not played the game. Dude, I need more science points. Oh, I can make this thing. I can make another one of my um, number crunchers. Stellaris is like time travel? I guess so, man. It's like sleeping on a plane. I have 18 unemployed bots. What a life. I think the only people that I still have working, yeah, are the bot assemblers. It's just that it takes 10,000 science for them to unlock. So, it takes a while. What about, excuse me, what about the second district? I have a perfect amount of bots over there. We can pause a couple of these production structures, because I already have so many idle ones as it is. Guys, I think we've basically done everything. So the only things that are still left for me are things that aren't really relevant. And there's one monument, so the monument is just expensive. So I have the resources for it, I just don't have the science. Yeah, I think I think we've basically finished it. I, I I don't know. If anybody has anything that I still need to do, please let me know. Because I'm not entirely ready to say goodbye to this game yet, but I think I think we've basically finished the sandbox game. Very happy with how this all turned out though. I could make a gigantic pyramid right up here. Hmm. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, we can make the mine over here. I can already reduce working hours of beavers to basically zero. The only workers that I currently still have are the ones that work in the bot assembly machines and I can automate the production of that. So there's the, um, there's still one mine that I can get. The efficient mine. So this is, I just have enough science for that. 
So that allows me... To harvest steel indefinitely. Um, so there's scrap metal and scrap metal efficient. I don't really know what the difference is. I guess we'll see. I need to uh, employ beavers here as well. So this requires... I think there's two recipes for it. I, I read this somewhere when I first checked it out, but... Did I still not close the... Ah, I need to open this. Okay. Um, so this is a structure they added a couple of patches ago. I remember when they added it. Yeah, so it's either one gear and one treated plank for three. Or we can do one treated plank one gear, one dynamite for six. I think I'm gonna do six. So that means I have to set up some storage here for those different resources. Um, so we're gonna need three different storage things. What was it again? Planks? No. Yeah, treated planks, gears. And then dynamite. So we do treated planks. And then gears and dynamite. Uh, we can do dynamite. We can do gears. These are kind of expensive things to get though, but... Uh, decorations. Gotta put some roofs up here, naturally. Right, I can use these roofs. Um, and there's still no easy way of doing these. I wish that was an easier way. Like, they really should do a 3x3 three three roof. Yeah, it's funny how that isn't a thing. So it's a very expensive mine to build, though. I'm also gonna have to set up storage right here for... Yeah, no, that's right over there, for the treated planks. Uh, I already have metal storage right over here. As a matter of fact, it's currently full. So I don't really have any use for it. <laughs> for additional storage. It's not like I'm using it up. Okay. 47 happiness. There's still a few happiness ratings that I could aim for. I could put two tributes of ingenuity up on this thing. That would be amazing. Also, very expensive. We haven't done a wooden fence. I don't know if they can build the middle one. I think I can. This one is top priority though, just in case. Um, so this is gonna be... Scrap metal. Um, I'm still missing some, yeah, basic foods and stuff. So the tribute of ingenuity? Shrubs. Apparently I don't have enough shrubs. 
an interesting thing. I removed the campfires, but it's mostly food. Honestly, pretty easy to do, though, with less and less beavers joining. Or, I mean, zero beavers joining. You can't get your happiness higher. The beavers just stopped using the campfires when you got too many other activities. Hmm. I mean, my beavers are currently not working. So, I could add some campfires over here. None of them are working. Um, it's just that one, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think if you have robots everywhere, that resolves that problem. There we go. I think I'm gonna replace a few of these pots with shrubs. Um, because most of the beavers should run around this area. And also, since I have so few beavers at this point, I think I can get rid of, for example, my medical beds in this spot and re replace them with shrubs as well. So we just put down a bunch of shrubs in different locations, and hopefully they will all run by it at some point during each day. And I think they should get that buff. Um, algae, eggplants, and corn. I don't currently have any algae. This is a... 3x3 three three structure, right? That is under the food section. Uh, yes. So, if I want to set that up over here too, I'm gonna have to dig out a little area so we can make algae. I just have to get rid of some of my existing plants. So I have a lot of coffee here actually, maybe a little too much coffee. Now I know, guys, that is quite a blasphemous thing of me to say. Too much coffee? It's just that my coffee is filled up. I think I'm gonna get rid of a little patch of coffee, just like that. We'll do a little bit more, actually. I know, I know, too much coffee? Yikes. Adventurous thing to say in Twitch chat. I apologize. Um, hydroponic garden. This is where we get the algae. 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 And we put rotating stairs around it again. I live on coffee? No, I don't really drink that much coffee. Although I do really like coffee, though. Okay. I should do the trick. I usually drink about two cups of coffee a day. There's a lot of Dutch people that drink coffee uh, for dessert, like every day. Yeah, there's a lot of people that will drink coffee after dinner. Very common. I can't sleep. If I do. I, I usually stop caffeine at 2pm. Basically the start of my stream. That's the moment I stop caffeine.
Okay. I do get headaches when I don't drink coffee. That is true, yes. So every once in a while I do drink a whole lot less coffee. But, um, I don't know. What's going on, Psychotic? I didn't break anything, no. I am building some algae, or I'm growing some algae. Eggplant rations and corn rations. I have corn over here. Do I just not have it stored anywhere? Is that my problem with corn? That's a funny problem to have. I think I literally just need to store it. Uh... Corn. I also don't have storage for algae now that I think about it, yeah. Good point. Algae. Which one's the algae? Do we not store algae over here? Am I blind? Did I just literally hover over? Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. We'll put a roof over on the one on the left. And I think I'll do a... Um, Rooftop terrace for the one right over here on the right. And then we continue this a little bit further. I don't really want to block my tribute. So there is this thing called a food... Whatever. Um, not sure what it's called. There's like a food manufacturing thing or whatever? Um, a food factory? Yeah. It requires electricity, though, which is kind of a pain. Processes ingredients into food rations. Um, I don't really have room for it, man. I built all these beautiful pyramids, but they did take up a little bit of space, you know? Which seems like a problem now. Yeah, food factory doesn't increase happiness, though. I guess it just increases the amount of food I have. Which doesn't seem very useful. There is a food rations category? Oh! Oh, that's what it is. Ah, okay. So I need three of those factories. Gotcha. Um, okay. You wanna leave, buddy? That's okay. Go ahead. So he's like, I need to leave right now! Leave me out, leave me out! I asked you once, and you still didn't respond! Jeez, calm down, Toby. Calm down, buddy. What's going on, Toby? Hello. Hey, yo, loco underscore. Underscore? Appreciate ya. Okay, so we have these things called food factories. Gonna have to plant down three of them. And then also an engine. I think this is the perfect spot for it. Couple more dynamites, please. Yeah, almost three years, man. Thank you very much, El Toby. Long-term supporter. Imagine being subbed to my channel for three years, chat. Ay, ay, ay. 
Crazy. Okay. Food rations. Uh, am I dumb? Oh, yeah, pretty dumb. Pretty stupid. These are big structures, man. Yeah, I need to put up some storage over here. And I need to also make sure that I have my um, power coming in. So I want to do the power from the top. That's what I'm thinking of anyways. So we do power like so. Now we put up our generators here. So these things take 120 horsepower each. I actually think I'm going to move these. 120 horsepower each. So these things generate, I just need one. Enough. There we go. Bit of an engine. There's an output over here. And then we need to do a little bit of a wood storage here somewhere too. So we need to do wood storage and then the different rations. I'm assuming the rations are stored in medium warehouses or warehouses in general. So I would like to put down three of them, meaning that I have to do a little bit of a... There we go. Boom, boom, boom. This one gets to do corn rations. And this one gets to store corn rations. This one gets to do algae rations. This one gets to store algae rations. I don't currently grow eggplant rations yet or any eggplant. So that's one thing I need to do. Happy to catch another live stream. Yo, what's up, man? 56 months already aiming for the five years mark. It's been a while since I saw you streaming. What games are you playing now? What's going on, Fire DZ? Um, I play a little bit of everything as per usual, but currently I am playing this as well as RimWorld. As well as a difficult game about climbing, apparently. Didn't really plan for that last one, if I'm being honest with you, but... Sometimes those things happen. Although I don't recommend that last thing for you to happen. Because a difficult game about climbing is uh, quite difficult. It had it in the name, I guess. Pl uh, wood. I was gonna say planks, but no. Okay. I need to put up some roofs. Drought is approaching. No, I'm actually, uh, I think I'm going to wrap up this game today. Because we've been, uh... Yeah, I've been in the, in the process of finishing this one for a little bit. Mm, I don't love that. Fifty happiness. Not bad. Very good. Uh, the roofs do give you like a, a positive bonus, yeah. But mostly I add them for decoration though. If they didn't add anything, I would still add them, Newt. I think I'm gonna replace this section over here. 
with yeah with um eggplants instead everybody loves eggplants right at least the eggplant emoji is always a popular one Yeah. Oh, you guys pulled up the eggplant emoji real quick. Is that in your commonly used emoji list, guys? I'm just asking. And silently judging. Can I explain why? People just really love... Vegetables. Veganism is very popular. Can I explain why? I mean, I think it's just something people like to do. What are your most commonly used emojis? If you like if you're watching this on your phone or on mobile, I guess, if you go to your emojis, which one is the most frequently used one? It's the duck? The smiley one? Kapow? Lol. It only shows you recent? Ah, uh, okay, okay. A dancing cow? Literally never seen you use that blue hair. Literally, dude. Literally. We gotta store our eggplant somewhere. Where do you usually store your egg? Oh, okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. Never mind, chat. Actually out of gears. Imagine that. I guess I'll add a couple more then, huh? No, I know blue hair would never watch anybody else's stream other than mine. No, 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 no. I, I don't believe that. He wouldn't just use frequently used emotes, but ones that he's never posted. No, 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 no. I think it was just a miscommunication here. I get it, I get it. Mm, 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 mm. Straight ban, right away. Gavilan does not like half measures. Very good. Okay, I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick. Grab something to eat as well. Do you think I can just let it run? Do you think I can? I'm just gonna let it run. This seems like a bad idea. There's a drought right now, but they don't need my help. I think we're good.
Did I die? Did I lose everything? Huh. I did not. That's amazing. I, um... I tried petting my cats, but apparently they did not appreciate it. They were both hard at work. Are you kidding me right now? This, this does not... Like, my... How am I gonna fix this? Uh, 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 uh... Hmm. Hmm. I am running out of lumber. I can fix this with grenades and dynamite. Yo, Loco, you can't lose everything. You will always have the pogos. Pogo. 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 Thank you, man. That is very kind of you. Sometimes all I need is the motivational support of the pogo. That's truly all I ever need. 85 months and Loco still hasn't grown a beard. Skill issue NGL. Absolutely a skill issue, dude. I mean, it's been a couple days now, I think. Like two. Yeah. Quite, quite the beard, honestly, Omega Odin. Thank you for the 85 months. I don't think anybody has grown a finer beard on this chat than me. Let's keep the pogo going. Pogo, 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 pogo. Thank you, dude. I also love pogo. Three hundred dollar or three hundred bits rotter at a time. That's how much I love pogos. Love him. Huge fan. That was a sick beat. Yeah, it was pretty good. Um, I'm running out of lumber, guys. I have no lumber. I'm all out. Where is it even all going? Is there an overview screen of where my lumber is going? Yeah. I have a lot of engines, and they are soaking up a lot of it. Engines take lumber, yeah. Straight up. Hmm. There is a massive amount of lumber right over here. Hmm. Okay. We need to make another district, guys. Carving it straight through here. We're gonna make another district. Are those Tim Tams? I don't know what Tim Tams are. What's going on, Shadarki? It is Pi Day, yeah. Gotta get done on Pi Day. It's Pi Day if you're in the US though. In the rest of the world, it is the 14th of the 3rd. So I don't I don't really know exactly how that works out, but to be fair though, there's the U.S. and then there's countries that don't matter, right? So like, 
don't really see what the issue is. Imagine using month, date, year. Can't believe this. Hello. Did you just do American slander? We can do year, month, day. I guess that's acceptable. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's okay. We can you we we can do that. Year, month, day is the only way to do it. Every day is pie day for you. Are you eating the crust yet, though, Grimdy? Are you? You're not eating the crust, are you? <laughs> I knew it! Yeah, yeah. Year, month, day is definitely the best way to do it if you like sorting files efficiently. The drought has ended. Rejoice. Gamers around the world. Get your fireworks out. I doubt the drought. I never even felt it. Are you a drought denier? Is that what you're saying right now? I don't know how this is going to work, though, if there's, like, a lot of... I don't know. The bat water? I think the bat water actually does moisturize the area. I think. I actually don't know. This seems like an important bit of information, but... It's okay. Doesn't happen that often. Um, I do want to build a bridge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we need the four sized bridge. Whichever one is the bridge that says four by one or whatever. Is it on the decoration? Where is it? Oh, it's on the paths, obviously. Yeah. Okay. I have to put a forester up here. And then also a lumberjack camp. And you guys can go ahead and plant a load of trees here. Oh, all right. Plant as many as you can, and we'll have to cut down the rest of them. Same for these over here. These also need to be cut. Screw you, Mother Nature. Screw you! Yeah, I haven't yet played the game. I heard it's pretty fun, uh, Grimmy. Are you stalking me on Steam right now? Is that what you're doing? Whoa. Whoa, hold up right now. Buddy. Are you stalking my Steam library? Yikes. You're stalking everybody? Is that what you're saying right now? That's a yikers. Oh, you're not just stalking me. Oh, okay. Well, that's... That makes me feel much better. He's not just stalking me. He stalks everybody. Okay, okay. Whew, glad to hear it. I'm starting to get concerned. Flying Lurker, man. Thank you for the 10 gift subs. I appreciate that, dude. Thank you very much. If I could see a Utron of hearts in the chat for the Flying Lurker, who's kind of like a Brute War Queen. Lurkers used to be able to fly back before the Brute Wars. Oh, my entire city has fallen apart because I don't have any lumber. That seems a problem. Need more lumber. 
More lumber is required. But I'm growing eggplants now. So... Can't win all of them, Chet. But you can win some. Yo! An additional 10 subs? Does that mean we make the sub goal? <gasps> Five more? No, six more? Five more? Four? Three? Two? One? I want to thank y'all for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Don't forget to smile. And I hope to see you once again later. Bye. I'm just kidding. We have a beaver city to build. Yeah, I know. We have a beaver city to build. Thank you very much, Flying. You've never been this sad. Really? Man. That is pretty sad. You do make it sound very sad. Uh, we pause this one, I guess. Same for this one. That one does not need to be here. You guys get to move to lumber. Climbing game, when? We, we will play the climbing game, yeah. Patience, young one. Patience. The thing about the climbing game is that that is like a end of the stream kind of game. You know what I mean? Like, you can't play the climbing game when you can start the anger starting to feel... You can't do it. Plus, I'm already very sleepy because I was up at 3.30, which is a bad time to be up. Don't recommend it. Someone was gifting five subs every time they fell. Ooh. No, 3.30 a.m., Shardarki. I had to drop Loran off at the airport. Her flight wasn't originally supposed to be that early, but they moved it forward. Isn't that wild? I don't think I've ever had a flight moved forward. Well, I had to drive for a while and I did kind of sleep again. But it's like the uh, zombie sleep, you know what I mean? <laughs> I feel like that's the best way to describe it. It's like, yeah, technically you're sleeping, but realistically... So, I think in total, I probably must have slept like seven hours or something. But it was seven hours, it was like like four hours and then like like another two and a half or so. It was a bit messy. And in general, I am very much so somebody who uh, needs, needs his beauty sleep. Yeah. <laughs> I sleep quite a bit usually. Try a layover in an airport in South Korea for a day? Ooh, I prefer not, actually. Thank you for the suggestion, though, Ed. <laughs> I, uh... I appreciate the thought, but... If I have any say on the matter, I'd prefer not to. <laughs> uh, this game is definitely different than RimWorld. It's still a lot of fun, though. I don't have enough lumber, guys. It's a real issue. <laughs> it was worth a try. Yeah, yeah, I do. I understand. I like the suggestion, man. Keep them coming. We have no haulers. Whoa, I had loads of my robots die. Holy crap, dude. Loads of robots actually just died. I had so many. I think I'm gonna enable a few of my breeding pods again. 
Imagine dying as a robot? No. I think I'm gonna put some humans in the hauling post. Yeah, humans may be our dedicated haulers. Humans may be more reliable, honestly. Yeah, if they break down, they are gone. You don't seem to get any resources back either. Imagine humans. Yeah, imagine that. Have you guys ever met humans? I shook one's head, one's hand once. It was, it was terrifying. Yeah, I'm more of a beaver guy, personally. You prefer not to? I get it, I get it. Are you guys beaver shaming me right now? Is that what you're doing? Be very serious with me for a second here, Chad. Are you... I don't have enough beavers. Holy crap. I can't believe I had everybody die. Oh, my beavers have no working hours. Yo, you guys are not doing shit. 16 hour work days are back, baby. Holiday's over. Wake up. 38 happiness. Uh, sounds difficult, man. Oh, my mud bath isn't working because I don't have electricity. Dude, I got some very, very... Annoying beavers as well. They get eight hours of rest a day. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, man. That's a lot of rest. What do they do with the rest of their time? Sit around? Play video games all day? Pathetic. I recently met a guy who played video games as an adult. Like, fucking cringe, dude. Horrible. What's up, Andy? You play video games as an adult, Grimdy? I said adult. Wait. I'm, I'm confused right now. You don't play video games, you pay Loco to play them for you? Oh! You have a video game guy? You have a guy for video games and that guy is me? I never really thought about streaming that way. Much like having like an electrician and like maybe a plumber. You have a guy. To play the games for you. Hmm. Hmm, smart. Yeah, you're outsourcing games. Like, you could think- you could fix your own kitchen sink, you know, but it'd be frustrating. Much like many of the games. Like, a lot of games that I play are very frustrating to play. Why would you do it yourself? Just outsource it. Hmm. Yeah, I'll do the fun for you, so you don't have to. <laughs> That's that's some some smart stuff right there. Very clever. I like it. Okay. Thirty-five robot beavers are necessary in this place. Okay, stuff is running again, which is good. 
Yo, faceless mirror. Appreciate you. Boys only, should uh, Andy? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Me and the boys hanging together. Well, I'm just sitting around playing video games and painting Warhammer miniatures, you know? My cats are actually hard at work. They're like, you know, spying on the neighbors. Making my socks go missing. Hide Laurent's hair clips, that sort of thing. They're very busy. Hey, thank you very much, Nuzzy Futs. Appreciate it. Did my YouTube video go live, by the way? I didn't even see Gabe spam a link. Yes. Dude, my favorite part about this entire video, other than the fact that it's an amazing game, right? Is that Serral in this particular replay is playing under a barcode nickname. So this is a ladder game in StarCraft 2 between Clem and Serral. Serral at 7.1k MMR, smurfing as a barcode. So to clarify, when you queue up in Grandmaster League, you can see your opponent's MMR on the loading screen. Like there is, there is only one player at 7.1k MMR at the moment. What, what's, I don't understand the point of the barcode. Like you're not hiding anything. <laughs> why, why is Sarah fleeing under a barcode? It's almost a joke, you know? It's almost tongue in cheek. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like, look at all these other losers with their barcodes. <laughs> you know who I am. I need this, a scratch pop. A scratch pad pro? <laughs> this is so bad. 10 out of 10 Photoshop for an Amazon product. I like I like the other cats that are in the in the call right now. Oh, this is part of the product. Thirty dollars? $30 for a piece of cardboard. Now look, I've been spending more than that on plastic. On the Warhammer figures, okay? But, $30 for cardboard goes a bit far. $30 for pieces of plastic, however? <laughs> I don't think, yeah, exactly. I don't think I want to train my cat to be scratching my laptop anyways. No. There's a video. The Scratchpad Pro. <laughs> so you don't get interrupted? No, bro, you're basically training your cat that they should use the thing. Very fun product, though. $30 for a piece of cardboard really does seem a bit much. Hey, we have exactly 100 regular bots and 25 regular beavers. No, actually, we have 31. Never mind. Hey, nice. Very good, Peter. Wait, so how have you been... Have you not been playing any games? Because your motherboard broke a while ago, right? Like, you sent it off a bit ago. Have you just not been able to play anything? You've been using your old PC? Ah, okay, okay. I had a wood issue for a little bit, Malin. I did legs at the gym today, guys. Am I insane? What sane person would just go to the gym and do lower body? Like, for all intents and purposes, with what I do for a living, I may as well not have a lower body. 
Do you guys think I have a lower body? Probably not. You walked 20 kilometers a day at work? Jeez. it's a lot of walking. Yeah, I'm, I'm literally just a torso. A torso with a head. Two floppy arms. I was watching a video the other day from um, a guy on YouTube called Optimum Tech or something. Yeah, like he's been he's been building these mini computers, which I really love the look of. So this is a two thousand dollar, a two thousand dollar PC that is that tidy. It's got like some proper hardware and everything too, man. These I've never had one of these mini cases before. But I really love the look of them. Yeah. These are sweet, man. Yeah, I can imagine it's a pain for some stuff, for sure. Because obviously you're not going to have as many connectors, and in general you're going to have to be very precise and specific with the hardware that you end up buying. But the fact that you can actually have a high-end computer like this in a very small form factor is kind of awesome. I think that's really cool. Still enough space for the cat. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, my computer is massive in comparison to that. I mean, it doesn't really matter so much for a desktop, I suppose, but it's still cool that it's possible, you know? Do people still have full tower PCs? Is that still common? Like full tower was like, you know, the very large ones. I guess most people have mid towers or whatever they're called. I don't really know what the most popular type of uh, PC case is anymore. You've had a full tower for a while or replaced it with a normal one two years ago. Okay. Yeah, full size PC towers are big, right? Uh, the red water is from a uh, a new game mechanic called Bad Water, but at this point in my playthrough, I've well managed it. You only use big towers at work. At home, you use a meaty tower. Yeah. I kind of like that they actually have uh, started making some towers that don't have like, you know, they, that actually look kind of cool. That are actually kind of stylish. I'm kind of over the. Mass LED type of thing, you know? Not- I'm not really big into my colorful LEDs anymore. No, I- I- I'm, I think I'm over it for the most part, yeah. Yeah, they have like wood panel ones and stuff now. Yeah, I do like the look of them quite a bit. You love having your PC lit with blue LEDs at night? Nothing quite like it, huh? I have a fractal case right now, actually. Fractal design. What do they, um, what have they been making? Oh, here, here's a bat tide approaching. Somebody was just asking. Oh yeah, they make PC cases now with wood on the front. Yeah, see, I kind of like this. I know this is not for everybody. I understand that not everybody likes something, you know, that looks like this. But I, I think it looks, yeah, I like it. I think I would get something like this if I had to buy a new computer. Like, yeah, I'm kind of over this type of style. Even though it looks kind of nice. This is also not bad though, dude. Although it's kind of small. Don't know if it would fit. That's what she said. No, I think, I think, uh... Yeah, these are kind of nice. Is it actual wood though? Are we using actual wood for this sort of thing?
Enhance the look of your gaming system with a sleek wood. N Are we not saying what sort of wood it is? <laughs> All right, okay. Um, it probably says it somewhere. Yeah, I have a fractal case right now. I, I haven't ever had one before this, but it's just wood, guys. No price tag either. I mean, I'm just saying it could be plastic that, you know, looks like wood. <laughs> that would be kind of lame. But it could be, you never know. It says walnut? Okay. Hey, we actually have 12,000 points. That's amazing, because that means I can get the tribute to Ingenuity. By far the most expensive structure in the entire game. Alright. Let's build it. This is gonna give him another massive buff. Look how long the range of that is. Jeez. You're rolling with a Fractal R4? Yeah, that was the classic one, right? I like that one a lot. I built a computer in that case at some point. A long, long time ago. Must have been like 20... Uh, I don't know. 2014, probably. Dang, that is a while ago. That's my ex-girlfriend's computer. <laughs> That's a while ago. Um, I don't think I really need this thing on anymore. No. Nah. Remove it. It says reclaimed wood. Alright. Cases can last through many builds. Yeah. Usually though, what I've done is, rather than like replacing a lot of parts, I usually don't sell for parts, but sell the entire computer. So like, yeah, you can reuse a case. You can reuse a power supply unit and a bunch of stuff, but like, what do you do with the components? Do you sell the parts? I guess you can just sell the parts, but it's a bit more of a hassle. You keep a museum? Ah, alright. You upgraded your PC two years ago and the random remainders are still in your living room in the, oh, I should deal with this pile? Right, right, yeah. I get what you mean. Okay, the bat tide is here. Okay, how is my tribute coming along? I need a lot more gears. Yeah, gears are always... Uh, always tricky to get to. I mean, I should be able to make a whole load of robots still, though. I actually don't have enough robot limbs. Interesting. That is one of my new bottlenecks? I mean, I have one unemployed bot at the moment, though, so maybe it's not really much of a bottleneck. No, it's four limbs. Four limbs, one torso, one head.
Best Buy will recycle computer parts? Wait, so how does that work? Did I give you money for it? Or you just get to dump it there? You get to dump it? Okay, so that's not quite as exciting. I thought you meant they were gonna, like, give you money for it. Wait, they charge you to dump usually? What? Really? Huh. Interesting. No, you don't usually pay for that sort of thing over here either, but... Do you not have like a place where you can just drop off used electronics and, you know, couches and chairs and whatever? Do you not... This is a service that like uh, the city provides over here. They charge you money? They do everything but electronics? Oh, okay, interesting. The dump costs money? Wait, really? So if you go to the dump in the US, you have to pay money to go there? Really? Huh. So don't that, doesn't that just create a ton of littering though? Don't a lot of people just fucking, just not? I didn't realize that that was a thing in most places, then. You pay for e-waste fee when you buy it, and then you gotta pay to dump it? Huh, interesting. I didn't realize that that was, uh... Different over here. To be fair though, our taxes are insanely high compared to uh, basically everywhere else. <laughs> so, you know, don't get too excited about these sort of things. Okay, we're gonna do more wood over here. Because I ran out, and that seems to be quite an important resource for me to not run out of. Because it kind of keeps the economy running. The beaver economy. Hey! I'm running very low on metal blocks right now, too. I think that's because of my tribute, though. Yeah, the tribute is taking up everything. That'll be sorted out soon. What's going on, Wedrick? Hello! Flying Lurker donated a bunch of subs. I think you got given one, uh, Vedrick. <laughs> Welcome to the internet. Come on, take a seat. <whistles> Can 
Okay, the bat tide has been handled. Currently, I don't actually have enough electricity. Eh, it's okay. My batteries are currently down, but the bat tide is over, and that should mean that my wheels are spinning again very soon. Okay. We'll dump a little bit into the main city, but that's okay. It'll just flow through the river. Yo, what's up, Dark Empire? How's my favorite StarCraft 2 beaver doing today? Your favorite StarCraft 2 beaver? Thanks, man. That's very kind of you. Um, I'm doing alright, man. I do love beavers. I think I'm actually gonna do some... Um, some rooftop terraces. Is that possible? I would love to have a round of rooftop terraces. Because that never seems to be something you have enough of. How many can I fit up here? Um, if I do it like this, I can fit quite a few. This is a dumb idea. I mean, I've accidentally created a massive storage area right over here in the middle of my, uh, my farmland, or at least where it used to be. I think it's fine, but... Wait, what? My counting skills are... not very good. I was gonna say, it's like this. Oh, it doesn't fit like that. Dang it. The entrance is in a different spot than I expected it to be. No. D delete. Backspace. Right away. Right away, Chet. We have to fit up, uh, we'll have to fill up this space over here in some way. I think it's pretty cool. Delete, delete, backspace. I mean, I can do it like this. I would just have to create an extra way of getting up there. I kind of like that this was so clean, but... Do I really want to do it like this? I don't like that. Is there another solution? You went outside, Rumpus? Bro, what the hell? Are you crazy? It was hot and bright and, s and loud? Absolute madman. Yeah, I'm gonna go from the other side. This guy just goes outside and pretends it's nothing. I may have to destroy some nature for my uh, endeavors. One hundred percent of people that have gone outside historically have died. That's a scary statistic. Scary and true. <sighs> okay. Why 
Why am I doing this in the most complex way possible? Ah, oh, it looks kind of nice. Yeah, I saw that the guy who lived in the iron lung died. That's a bit sad. To be fair, the fact that he had to live in that machine also is kind of sad. But just kind of. Like, that's very sad. I live in your computer. I guess that's a good point. I'm also pretty sad. When are you gonna let me out? Never? Fuck. Better get comfy, I guess. Only for StarCraft 2 tournament. Thank you, guys. Your kindness is... mind-boggling as per usual. Yeah, that's true. I don't really let my cats out either, so why would I let my streamers out? My cats wouldn't really be able to survive well in the wilderness. Plus, they would just go out and just, you know, cause havoc for no apparent reason. I think streamers would be the same. If you let them out of your computer, what if they go and find their way outside? I get it, guys. Thank you. For not having me go through that sort of thing, you know? I will take you out so you can get In-N-Out Burger. Yeah, we'll, be, we'll, we'll just be In-N-Out. So I don't know if that really counts. Good morning, Rushy. Afternoon? Oh no. Hey, my mine is done. Sweet. You just looked at the clock? They have clocks in Iowa? That's amazing. You learn something new every day. <laughs> Do they have watches in Iowa? Right next to the cornfield in Casey's? Bro, I love Casey's. You know what I love most about Casey's? Their breakfast pizza. Oh, it hits differently. I've never had it, but one day. One day. It's so good. When's the last time you had Casey's breakfast pizza, Rushi? <laughs> Yesterday? Okay, okay, good. Right answer. <laughs> I could make breakfast pizza myself. Am I gonna look up how to make Casey's breakfast pizza? How to make Casey's breakfast pizza. I feel like if there's any Italians watching the stream, you should close my, my, my channel for just a moment. Sausage, bacon, veggies, scrambled eggs, bacon, sausage, veggies. Okay, okay. You have three kinds of breakfast pizzas with different flavors, sausage, bacon, or veggies. Ah! For the pizza sauce, you can choose either sausage gravy or cheese sauce. This doesn't seem very difficult to make. This kind of looks like bread. With cheese, bacon, and egg. 
You endorse this as an Italian? But you live in the US though, Rumpus. So maybe that doesn't really count, you know? Maybe they're gonna take your Italian passport. That looks American? Oh yeah, it's pretty American. Absolutely. Is this discrimination? I'm just saying, I've met a whole lot of Italians. And they take their pizza very serious. You don't seem to take it nearly as serious. <laughs> we can have all the Casey's pizza you want. Dude, I'm excited. I'm a little afraid though that Casey's Pizza is gonna go the way of In-N-Out Burger. Where the hype does not quite live up to the actual product. They put cheese on bread with way too little sauce and burn it and call it pizza? Whoa, whoa, jeez. I'm not saying it's the best thing you'll ever taste. But it's definitely good. Oh no, we're already backpedaling and we haven't even started. Don't trust the west coast? Wait, is Iowa the west coast? Isn't it like in the middle of the country? How's this west coast? Thank you very much. Bunny Warren! <laughs> yeah, you know that's gonna happen one day, Rushy. I'm just preparing you for it. <laughs> Dude, I told this already on the stream, and I thought it was so funny, because... Just like two weeks ago, right? Maybe a week and a half ago or so? The... Taxi driver. Or the, the shuttle driver in Los Angeles. Was talking to me about the Netherlands, right? He was asking, like, hey, where are you from, blah, blah, blah. Um, I said I'm from the Netherlands. He's like, oh yeah, there's a lot of rain, right? I was like, yeah, there's usually a lot of rain. He's like, yeah, I can know that because I'm from the south. And I'm sitting there thinking, California is as south as you can go on this coast, no? But California is not the south, Chet. That is, no, 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 no. No, that is not the south. The south is not actually the south. The south is like more south than the southern part of the west coast, right? That's what it is. Yeah, the south is the southeast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> These are things that are not obvious to somebody who's not from the states. The south is where you hear banjos? Ah, okay. I gotta pay attention to the banjos. I see, I see. Not all the way east? Okay. So South Carolina is not south. It's just south of North Carolina. <laughs> whoa, whoa, Rushy. That came from Rushy of all people. <laughs> all right, then. All right, I see, I see. I mean, it's true. <sighs> I need more robots. <laughs> oh my god. Yikes. Yikes. So there's guys from the American South watching this right now and they're like, just staying very silent in the chat? Is that what's going on at the moment? Or do they not have internet? Like, how do I... Sorry, I'm just starting to hang on here. I'm, I'm <laughs> trying to catch on to how, how to get this done. <laughs> Jeez, you guys are so mean. These are the types of things I don't even say about Belgium. I just think them. No, no, no.
I'm in the south. Belgium is literally south of me right now, dude. Literally. What's the most southern country in the EU? In the European Union? The most southern country? Italy? No. Greece, I guess. Is Greece... Wait, hold up. It would be Greece, right? Most... <laughs> definitely not France, no. Most southern part of the European Union. Oh, technically it's... Ah, uh, you know what? Technically speaking, there's the Canary Islands. That are part of Spain. And I guess there's like, you know, a bunch of other regions too. Technically speaking, these places are in... European Union. Because, you know... They are... I guess islands that they used to have back in the early days of the old... Yeah. Excluding things like that, how how much do we... Aruba is technically part of the EU, I guess. Well, it gets confusing because there's there's countries that are part of the Kingdom of the Netherlands and then there's cities that are part of the Netherlands and they get to vote in like Dutch... It, it gets confusing. We don't really have to... Um... Uh, let's see. Most southern point of the European Union. Yeah, territories and like... It's hard to say exactly what it is otherwise. In mainland Europe. Only including the European continent proper, mainland of the 24 member states, excluding islands such as Cyprus, Malta or Ireland. Yeah. Fuck those three, right? Right, Rumpus? Um... All right, it would indeed be in Spain. I mean, that's what it says over here. I didn't come up with this. It would be Punta de Tarifa. Really? How is that the most southern area? Where is this? Uh, I don't want to dox myself. Is this an island? No, it doesn't say island. This is further south than Greece? Huh, yeah it is. Interesting. So, that is, that I, I figured Greece would be further south. Or Italy even. Huh, apparently it's literally right there. All right. Get the ruler out, man. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm assuming the Wikipedia guys already got their ruler out. That's more south than the northernmost point in Africa. Yep, yeah, yeah. Guys, I said Spain at the beginning of this, and I don't even know why there was a discussion. I know, says Edmin. We should have just we should have just believed you right from the start. I will never doubt your wisdom ever again. It is obvious you've reached the next level. Yeah. This this is the American South? <laughs> Texas and Florida don't even have to be part of it? Whoa, there's a state called StarCraft. Look at that. Sick, dude. Wait, you guys just said South and North Carolina weren't part of it. I don't understand the rules. I don't know, man. Look where I'm from Texas and I'm offended. You're offended you're not part of the South? <laughs> I 
The taxes of Florida make the money. The others are south. Okay, I see the implication there. I'm gonna need some more robot parts. I think I'm gonna do some more robot parts over here. Hmm. Problem is it doesn't fit. I think I'm gonna move the coffee brewery. Put up a thingy over here. And then a thingy over here. And then a thingy over here. Why am I struggling? Why am I struggling, guys? There we go. Alright. Um. Need to make more robot parts. Go. Uh, we're gonna do the doubles. Doubles into a staircase. Doubles, double, single. Double, double, single into staircase. Double, double, double. Double, double, double. Double, double, double. double. Road. All right. It's a bit messy, but I think it should work. Um, we're gonna do the similar, yeah, similar thing. You're gonna do bolt heads. You're gonna be doing bolt limbs. You're gonna be doing bolt chassis. You're gonna be making bots. Is this connected somehow with electricity? Because that would be smart. Not perfectly symmetrical, guys. Is that acceptable? I don't know if we can live with this. I think we're gonna have to live with it, though. Because I don't really feel like redoing it. Okay. How's my, um... Big boy tower coming along? We just need a hundred more gears and we're done! Tribute to ingenuity within 20 tiles. Hype. Very tempted to actually just do another uh, row of these things. Because I think I'm going to need it. We're running out of electricity, interestingly enough. I don't even know if that's legal. I'm gonna be all the way up against the dam. Oh, damn. I think I'm actually gonna destroy that dam because we don't need it. There we go. That solves my problem. Um. I would do a little bit of explosion right over here. This was the backup dam, guys. At some point, the backup dam loses its purpose. This is the original dam. The OD.
Okay. But we can solve a lot of these problems with... Everybody's favorite, dynamite. Um, I have 17 jobs that need to be done. I also actually have vacancies for, for, for beavers again. You know what? I'm going to bring up my beaver count. What's a normal beaver count in 2024, Chet? These are the sorts of questions I ask myself. 69 beavers? Damn. A beaver a day keeps the doctor away. That's beautiful, man. You know what? I actually thought I was done with this game, but I uh, still have a little bit of stuff to do. I mean, all of it is pretty irrelevant. But these final parts, they take a lot of time. Yeah, so I think I'm going to save it here and we're going to switch games. I'll continue with this again tomorrow. We're going to do a little bit of climbing. Everybody loves climbing. Mugetsu sent me a message. What did he say? Ooh, Mugetsu wants to transfer two terabytes worth of homework.mp4 files. You guys want to see a picture of his uh, homework assignment? Mmm, that's a lot of terabytes, man. Ay, ay, ay. Two terabytes. Very nice. I'll be looking forward to those, uh, Gabe. Like, how do you know when to end the stream if the chef is on holiday? Uh, I still make dinner sometimes. Also, did you call her the chef? I'm sure she'll appreciate that. You should hear the thing she says to me, dude. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, before we get into the swimming today, we gotta do our stretches. Arms to the left, above your head, to the right. Arms to the left, above our head, to the right. One more time. Arms to the left, above our heads, to the right. Okay, perfect. I'm ready. Look, how are you back again at the start? I figured for those of you that have never seen this game before, it would be polite of me to start again at the very beginning. Because, I mean, otherwise, it might get confusing for everybody. So it's definitely not because I tumbled all the way back down. And, you know, I struggled. No, no, no. That had nothing to do with it at all. I got pretty far up, but I wanted to be polite to everybody who's watching this for the very first time. Yeah, I want to be a considerate streamer for you guys. I know not every single one of you watches every single minute of my content, which... I find quite disrespectful, if I'm being honest with you, because I put in all this effort and you don't even watch, but... Anyways, um... Just for those people. I, uh, figured I'll begin again at the start, you know? Sure, sure, there you go, Kawaisu. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm just showing you guys the different game mechanics. So, left mouse button is left hand. Right mouse button is right hand. Moving the mouse up 
moves my character up. That's it. That's the whole game. Oh, and I can hit spacebar too. Spacebar allows me to like basically go as high as I can. So this is the part where I struggled a lot. Right over here. Right at the very beginning of the game. I gotta go to right here. Right below me. It's not that easy. Yeah, yeah, sorry, no worries, Rumble. Sorry, it's, yeah, no, no worries, man. Look how I saw other streamers do this. You watch other streamers, El Toby? Guess what that means? Straight banned from the channel, right away. Right away. Yeah, yeah, right away. Watching other streamers? Ban. It was an accident? Oh, okay, okay, fine. It was <laughs> it was a misclick. All right, all right, all right. I'll let it slide this time. Will I ever get past that stupid freaking rock? I gotten past it like four times up to this point. It's just that I can't ever comfortably get there. I don't know what I'm doing wrong there. Use your boost? I used my boost. I did not go very far at all. No, there's no other way. I use spacebar there. But I don't know what I'm doing wrong there. It was a little bit confusing. Any tips, Watopia? Because you've been playing this game a lot, apparently. Because you're a masochist, I think. My favorite part is when he hits the water and he, like, you know, bops. He, like, just, you know, goes back up. Jump with one hand and use boost? Old but gold, what did Tosh said? Hey, Amon. Yeah. There you go. Thank you very much, your prime fun. Yep. So I go like this, and then I swing that way, and we just kind of grab, right? what I do wrong. I can't even get remotely close enough. I was way off there. I have done that jump a hundred times at this point though, I think. I haven't been counting, but... I didn't tilt this time around. I was just not close enough. But yeah, if you do it at the wrong timing, your guy starts flipping around. Yeah. I use spacebar there every time, yeah. I think somehow there's a disconnect with when I'm supposed to let go. Imagine if this guy had legs, dude. <laughs> Speed run is now 6 minutes and 31 seconds. Oh no. We don't even get Bennett Footy with his motivational quotes. 
whenever I, you know, fall down. I don't even get close though. I feel like I'm getting worse the more I play this game. One of the problems though is that basically all the advice I get is from people that haven't played the game. <laughs> so I try to implement it, but like, you guys are also just for the most part guessing. <laughs> you don't even need to swing, you just- what? You don't think I need to swing? So the only person that I know has played this game is Watopia. He's saying I don't even need to swing? Okay, so I moved my mouse cursor from the bottom left all the way to the top right, right? Bottom left to top right. And then I hit spacebar when I'm close to the top right? You use boost first and then move? <laughs> well, that didn't do anything. Just like that. <laughs> wait, you hold the boost? Wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. You can hold the boost? You can boost higher? I have never held the boost. No, I've only tapped it. No, actually, I do hold it. No, I do hold it. No, if you tap it, you do this. No, I did. Okay, okay. I'm gonna try and hold the boost one. What? Hold the boost one more time there. Okay. Okay, okay. Like so? You think that will reach? Ooh, that was close, but... Have you played this game, Dark Server? If you t tilt to the right, you'd be doing good? Okay, okay. Looks like you could have reached. Yeah, <laughs> well, almost is not the, you know, <laughs> almost is not what we're going for. I have gotten past that point a bunch of times now. It's just kind of tricky to get there again. Hmm? I believe, I believe. Maybe I should go from a different spot? I don't know. Okay, okay, you haven't played it? Okay. That got worse. That got worse. Yeah, why doesn't he just fly? Imagine if this guy used his lower body though. He'd be an absolute monster. I mean, the spot that I'm jumping from right now is the spot that I've made it from before. I don't know if it's the best spot, but I've tried dozens of other locations and it never seems to work nearly as well. But maybe I should do another spot. I don't fucking know, dude. The stupid little Onyx looking face is uh, ruining the whole game. Ah. <sighs>
I'm trying! I'm really trying to be smart about this fucking rock. This part got more difficult after I try started trying. Yes, absolutely. I made it the first couple times without me trying to overthink it. And now I'm trying to like min-max it, and somehow I create less distance, which makes no sense. Like what am I doing wrong to not get there this time around anymore? Yeah, yeah, that's weird though. Okay, here we are again. That was absolutely atrocious. These type of games though are only fun when you're actually making progress. Like when you're not... Like you're just doing the same thing over and over and over again. It's not really that much... Enjoyment for me. Like there's no there's no progression, you know? Most placement go from bottom left to top right. Well that's what I've been doing here. I think I just didn't let go early enough. But last time around that I did let go early, I didn't create enough distance. So it's <laughs> it feels really flimsy. Mm hmm. Well, at least I didn't flip this time around. Still have my left mouse button click there. I was trying to practice it. Hmm. Okay. Apparently, my dude was like, "Yo, this is so much momentum. I'm gonna let go myself." What's going on, Gatu? Hello. You not let it go at the peak of the swing? Yeah, I guess. But if you let go too late, you don't make it, and when you let go too early, you also don't make it. It just feels like the margin for error is tiny this early on into the game. But maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. I feel like I'm stuck really early. I feel your pain, the pain in knowing this has happened to you. 
the pain in knowing what more tears we have gained. But through all this I feel your pain, Octavia B. Hawkins Richardson. Thank you, Gavilan. Thank you. That was, that was beautiful, man. I feel, uh, feel more motivated than ever to continue climbing. Brian is definitely better than Brian Foddy. Oh, oh wait, Ben Foddy. <laughs> Whatever his name is. So what do I do? <clears throat> I swing a little bit. I let go at the apex after hitting Hmm. Wasn't that exactly right, though? Yeah. Of all sad words of tongue or pen, the saddest are these, it might have been. John Greenleaf Whittier. Do that, but better? Yeah, but how? What do I do differently? That's the problem I run into with these rage games. It is not obvious to me what I'm doing wrong and how I could have gotten that instead. I should think longer thoughts. Ah, that's... yeah, yeah. Great suggestion, DX. Thank you, Gavilan. So I gotta do the thing I'm doing right now, but then not fail. All right, all right, gotcha, Chad. Yeah, I should widen my thoughts. Yeah. It's the same for this thing over here. Why do sometimes I not make it, and sometimes I do? This one I can retry a million times, it's not an issue. But I feel like I do the same thing every time. And sometimes I make it, and sometimes I don't. Yeah, of course you have to press the button to grab it. <laughs> There's no auto-grabbing, otherwise I would just be holding on a spacebar this game. Can you not swing a little bit more? So the problem with swinging for a while is that your dude starts slipping. So... Here, I can try and show you over here. So I can I can go very aggressive. It's just that my guy moves from the perfect position right away. So the times I did make it, most of the times, was with a two-handed swing. Maybe I'll try that again. Yeah, but then you do the flip. Then you do like the fucking like nose dive. <sighs> I should grab the rock with my toes. That's a good advice. I do like that. It'd be nice, though, if I could figure out what the problem is. Because, like, even if I now make it, the odds of me falling down past that point are basically 100%. And I feel like I'm not really progressing, even though I may at some point make this jump. You know what I mean? Okay, I don't know what I did differently, but I covered about twice as much terrain this time. Yeah. 
Okay, 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 now we're going, now we're going. So there is... There is a bit of a safe spot here somewhere. Where there is a little pond. And that pond, you can definitely fall out of, as I have already experienced. Patience is the foundation of eternal peace. Make anger your enemy. Harm comes to those who know only victory and do not know defeat. Find fault with yourself and not with others. It is in falling short of your own goals that you will surpass those who exceed. I know, I know defeat, bro. I don't need that advice. Okay, okay. So I think I went slightly bent arm this time around. That's the only difference I can figure out. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Fuck. I even leaned in real life. The leaning in real life did not give me additional instance, uh, distance. <sighs> I, don't, I actually don't know why my guy... Decided to let go there, though. Yep. When I finally got past that point. Yeah, maybe I should press my left mouse button more more aggressively. He wouldn't have let go. So left mouse button, left hand. Right mouse button, right hand. Bullshit, man! I fucking I I hit it though. What was the problem there then? I had the fucking rock. I swear to God, there's RNG with some of these things, man. The game's like, nope, not this time. I hurt my nail scraping the thing. It was a good jump. I still don't know what I did, but. Get him. Keep on climbing. I don't know how to translate it into text, so I recorded myself doing a jump.
But what do you do here? Also, please activate your windows. I don't understand what you're doing here, though. So you have a bent arm? That is one thing I am noticing. That's the one time I made it as well. I had a bent arm, and my guy seemed to jump pretty far. I don't cover any distance. Why do I cover no distance when I try to jump? That was also not nearly as far. You use the boost to drag your body along with the mouse? Reproduce it, man. <laughs> Dude, this game sucks. Holy shit. What if, like, I, I don't know. The progression curve feels really shit. So that was me moving as fast as I can from the bottom left corner of my mouse pad to the top right. Whilst hitting spacebar. Maybe I need to move slower with the mouse? Maybe that's what I need to do. Come on, hold on to the fucking branch, mate. Thank you very much, buddy. Appreciate it. Okay, maybe that's what it is. I'm gonna give that a try. I'm gonna give that a try. I think I may have been moving my mouse cursor a little too fast. Maybe I gotta be a little bit more delicate about it. Okay, let's see. So. <laughs> For fuck's sake, man. Is this like getting over it? No, no, no. Not even remotely similar. It's far more relaxing. It's much easier too, yeah, absolutely. <sighs> that was fucking good, dude. Sometimes my guy goes further, sometimes he doesn't. What's the difference? Nobody knows. Yeah, I'm getting there, but I can't reproduce any of it. So my strategy is to basically try to brute force it and hope I make it at some point.
Which is not a very good strategy. Because I'm going to have to make, I'm sure, many of those jumps if I actually want to play the game. Yeah, this is a classic face tank approach. Yeah. Well, last time I didn't swing. Maybe I should do a little bit of a swing. Wasn't that good? What do I do wrong on that one? Nobody knows. It's at the- it's like a DPS check? Yeah, maybe it is. The only problem is that this is a DPS check in the tutorial. This is the start of the fucking game. Yeah. I've been at the start of the game for three hours. Like, I did this part last stream, and I didn't really struggle that much with it. It's after I fell down past this point that I realized that I couldn't make this one reliably. I, I... I don't know what I do wrong. Loco, this is starting to get expensive. Your failure here is a metaphor. To learn for what, please resume climbing. Rob Dubbin. Thank you, thank you, Gavilan. Thank you, man. I'm leaning in real life. I'm boosting my character. I'm doing a little swing. I let go at the correct moment. I don't do a full flip. We still don't make it. All of these are good attempts. No, speedrun strategies are irrelevant. What's the point of speedrun strategies? They seem to boost and sway their arms fully sideways. What I'm trying to figure out is how I have made it from this exact spot. But sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. I wanted to let go a little later this time around, but that doesn't work at all. Oh, okay, let's see what the guy does.
Like he is not even he's not even remotely struggling here. He like shoots past that rock. Why does he make so much how does he make that much distance? How does he cover that much terrain? Like he goes all the way to like right over there. Yeah, he almost jumps too far. But how? Haven't I done the exact thing? It shows his mouse in the top right hand corner as a little squiggly thing. Oh yeah, you can see his mouse movement, I guess. He makes this look really easy. So he goes like that. He does a relatively slow move though with the mouse. I don't know. I got this? No, I don't. I don't know what I'm doing. You practice the jump? Well, I did it a few times, and sometimes I get it, and sometimes I don't. But it's hard to get the right consistency, I guess. Oh, okay, well this time around I didn't even do anything. My guy just let go himself. I still have my mouse cursor, but I guess I moved a little too far to the top right. Hmm. I don't make any distance. I feel like I make more distance here. Why do I not make that distance over there? Yeah, that's how I jump up there. What the hell am I... Yeah, maybe he gets tired from the climbing when he gets to that point, dude. That would make sense. We need a power bar. I don't know. I think we just kind of need to face tank it and hope at some point I get it. Which is not a very fun way to play it, but I, I don't see another solution here. Nah, it's okay, El Toby. Thank you, though. Mm. 
Yeah, I'm using space. <laughs> Isn't that the exact same jump every time? Fuck me, dude. I'm like half a centimeter short. Yeah, getting the right moment where you let go is not that easy. Oh! Okay, I feel like I did the exact same thing. Easy now. Don't, don't struggle over here now. Okay. Just go to the little pond. Just go to the small, tiny little pond. There's a little pond here that is sort of like a checkpoint. Except that I've already gone to that checkpoint like four times and I still managed to fall all the way down. But... <laughs> I've gotten so much worse! <laughs> Fucking hold on! GG, we beat the game. GG, we did it. We've made it into second 16 of the speed run. Yeah, second 16 of a seven minute speed run. We got there. Loga, how'd you get here? Can you show us again? I, I'm afraid I will have to show you again in a moment. Because <sighs> you can fall here to the right. How do I know? I don't want to talk about it. Going. This part is easy, Loco. Thanks for the encouragement. <laughs> oh my guy kind of looks like he can hold on to it, but yeah, the green rock is very slippery. I feel like maybe I need to have a higher mouse sensitivity. Am I crazy? Maybe it's a bad idea, I don't know. Hello. Low girl in the chat? The problem is definitely the mouse. 100%. The chef is here. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah. Women in the chat, everybody scatter. Act cool, everybody. Pretend you've talked to girls before. Just pretend. Fake it till you make it, chat.
Milady. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Women love it when you call them Milady. Okay. This part scares me. I don't know. Fucking okay. yes. Okay. It is time for the stones. Don't go that way, Loco. This is the way. Wait, I did the shortcut? What can I say? I didn't know I did the shortcut, but I can't read how many months for pop reaching from Chile. Thank you very much, Sushi. Twenty months, dude. Appreciate you. <laughs> okay, chat. Breathe. Oh! That looked painful. Okay, I hate my mouse speed. Gabe, stop hovering over that, that clip button. S -s no, stop hovering over it. There's nothing to clip. There is nothing to clip. feel like the ways I've already gone are impossible now. You give it a try, Meerkats. See how it goes, man. This looks like a game for you. Do it. No, no, no. Do it in the game. Yeah, there's an airplane tail on the right. I don't think that's something I can hold on to, though. No. That's just a decorative... Uh, a decorative airplane tail. <laughs> you just have to jump? You can. Can I... I wonder if I can grab that thing. I think I can. Ah. Oh, maybe I can take that that purple plant. That one. Ah, that's the way. Stop pointing me with that arrow, game. I don't like that arrow. I have to go to the left. Yeah. I think so, anyways. The left makes me feel more comfortable, because if I fall, I don't... <laughs> At least I don't fall to, you know, right over here, right below me. I feel like this is easier with a controller. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely a hard one problem. I tried the controller and it didn't really seem to be that nice. Because the joysticks are still joysticks, you know? And joysticks kind of suck. At least for accuracy. They're great if you have aim assist, though. <sighs> Dr 
drawing tablets. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. The radial pattern is kind of, kind of nice. You don't always want the radial pattern. Whoa. No! Whoa. Wait, there was something over there in the bottom. I, I think I'm dead. Yeah. I think I'm done, guys. <sighs> this game is not treating me kindly. It's nice if there would be some more safe checkpoints in games like this, man. The fact you go all the way back is really shit. Part of the reason, I guess, why it's kind of hype. There are checkpoints? Where? I've made it to the next pond, but you just... You can fall out of that section so easily. The second checkpoint, you can't fall back? Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I think that's a smart way of doing it. So there are hard checkpoints in a game. Okay, that's nice. So at least you can't do too much failure. I mean, you can fall back like 20% of the game at a time, I guess. Yeah, that's usually how it goes, Philip. I'm also super tired, guys, because, again, I woke up at 3 in the morning. Oh, maybe we'll give this game a try again tomorrow. I don't know, dude. Maybe not. We'll see how it goes. I like how the exit game button, by the way, says rage quit. Yeah. Fantastic. Anyways, gamers. Thank you very much for being here today. I'll be back again tomorrow, same time as today. I think I'm gonna go chill for a little bit and probably go to bed early because I am fucking tired. <laughs> Anyways, thank you all so much for the support today. Hope you enjoyed watching me fail miserably. <sighs> I can't believe I got stuck on the same fucking thing again. Ay -ay 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 -ay. I've played this game for three hours now and I'm at the start of the game. Like, it feels like I'm stuck at the tutorial. And I still don't know anything else, other than, like, do the jump better. I rage quit too late, can't refund now. No, I don't refund games I've streamed. Nah, I don't know, we can't do that. Anyways, thank y'all very much for being here. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you for hanging out. And I hope to see you once again tomorrow for another live stream. In the meantime, I highly recommend you go and check out my YouTube video. There's a, a new main channel video that went live today. One of the very best games of StarCraft 2 you can probably watch. So I recommend you go do so. It is a best of one. A single match, actually. Between Clem and Serral. So if you like high-level StarCraft, here's the link. All right, guys. Take care. I'll see you soon.